You gotta put your past behind you. Look, kid. Bad things happen, and you can't do anything about it, right? Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. Well, that's not what I was told. And maybe you need a new lesson.
everyone welcome in sorry about the uh the little being five five minutes late ish sorry about that or i, I mean we're actually half an hour late uh but hey we're here i uh, i was out uh having uh lunch with my my new job uh and came home uh, around two so just you know came home fixed myself started the stream but here we are and we are uh back in disco elysium sorry i got some kind of little hiccup just now but yeah, we're back in Disco Elysium, and uh, we're gonna hopefully get rid of Kim today. I mean, not that you know we you don't like Kim or anything, but we we gotta get rid of him so we can do whatever the fuck we want. Uh, there's a lot of things we want to do, and Kim is like, "Nah, I don't want you to do that." I was like, "Come on, Kim. Why, why don't why don't you want me to do that? You you love me doing that." Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully we'll 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 manage to do some things, and yeah, so. We're gonna we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna we're gonna stream the game. We we have neat office shades apparently. Um, and oh my god, I haven't really had a proper look at our character. Look how tired he looks. He looks how I feel. No, not really. Um, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Um, we need to. Uh, we're we're gonna talk to this guy before. We get, uh, so. I know, I know, I remember what to do for once. I actually remember what to do. We need to make time pass. How do we make time pass? Yes. Uh, maybe we talk talk to Kim and time will pass. We need to, we need to wait until it's um, nine o'clock in the evening so we can talk to the guy. Um, and you know, but may, maybe I don't I don't know how time passes in this game. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna play some games today. Uh, we'll, we'll see for how long we can stream. I do have some. I'm starting my job on Friday of all days on Friday. Uh, so on Friday I will not stream. I will stream today and I will stream on Wednesday. Today and tomorrow are quite busy days for me. So uh, we'll see. I'm. I'm. It might be a very short stream today. Might only go for like uh, two and a half. 
three hours, something like that. I, I do have uh, some, some work I, I need to get done today, which is unfortunate, but it's almost done. It's almost done. Uh, and then on Wednesday, it should everything everything should be normal. Everything should be back to normal. We can stream like normal. No no rushes. No anything. Just just a normal little day. And then uh, this week, some at some point, I don't know when. I don't know how, why. I, I know exactly why. I, <laughs> so, I don't know when. Uh, we will uh, or I will. I will post an updated schedule in the Discord because due to the new job, obviously, my my streaming times will will change. So I don't I don't I haven't decided exactly what the day what days yet, but probably it's leaning towards I'm I'm gonna stream two times a week instead of three, and it's going to be on Tuesday and Thursday. It's gonna be Tuesday on like six o'clock ish six six thirty in the evening, and to like you know late streams so evening streams. And Thursday the same. So it's going to be Tuesday and Thursday, and it's going to be, like, evening streams. Like, 6.30 to 10 European time. Something like that. I, I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post it in the Discord, so don't worry. And, of, obviously, the schedule on, on, on Twitch is going gonna, gonna to update as well. But it's going to be something like that. Have, I don't really know exactly what yet. But we'll, we'll figure that out. I will, I will update you in due time. Uh, but t this week... It's just going to be Monday and Wednesday. So today's streams and Wednesday streams. All right, Kim, uh, how do we make time pass? Uh, tell me about the what case. What do you want to know? Uh, I want to know. I don't know what I want. Um, if we're from different pre precincts, why are we on the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. I wasn't expecting that. You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. In on what? I don't remember being in on anything. That's oh, time good. is passing. Good, good, good. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's good, apparently. You know what I'm in on? Retrograde amnesia. Better still <laughs> than an imbecilic cop off. Huh? Uh, cop off? It's just stupidity. Okay. What kind of stupidity? The cop kind. Our precincts can decide if Martinez is part of Jamrock or the Industrial Harbor. Yours or mine, oh. as if we somehow own parts of the city. So we were like in the, in the middle of two... Mentality. Are we like in the middle so of two precincts? we've let the Union precincts? make mockery of law enforcement here. And now it's come to its natural conclusion. Okay. I also apologize if I am a bit... Like, I, I do have a, a bit of a uh, stuffy nose, so I might be sounding a bit weird uh, today uh, do, doing the uh, sort of... Sniffle, sniffing the sniffles <laughs> i'm gonna try my best not to it's not too bad it's not too bad but it's it's a bit it was way worse when i woke up like woke up and i was like oh, i can't breathe and then it's like oh oh i can just need to needed to like blow my nose well sort of okay it's less a matter of who gets to police martinez than who has to it's an orphan district so everyone words. everyone wants to police in martinez but no one Everyone wants to, and it's not assigned to anyone. I think the dispatch mm. desk just told both our stations about the hanging. There was quite a brouhaha at the 57th, I can tell you that. Mm. Time to settle it, they is, that, is that a word, Kim? Off. Or are you just making but shit up? I assure you. It was quite the brouhaha. the finest or toughest with 102 cases solved. Holy shit. What I am is least interested in a pissing competition. Okay, so you're not the finest, you're not the toughest, but you are the least interested in a pissing competition. So he volunteered to represent the 57th, ah. but not out of competitiveness. On the contrary. So, okay. Somewhere in your mind mm. hangs a dark green blackboard. Oh. There are two columns. One <laughs> says cases solved. Okay. The other confirmed kills. And we know we have like 200 plus cases solved and three confirmed kills. So, what about Kim, eh? I wonder what this says about me, that I was sent by my station. What about... What's so special about Martinez? So you volunteered to spoil it. Yes. Mm. I'm an unrepentant spoil sport. I see. If only I was a, an unrepentant spoil sport. For some reason, I thought you'd had 104 solved cases. How did he say? He said he had... 102. Hmm. Well, technically, the official record keeper has been known to double count murder suicides. 
I see. A common accounting gimmick used to inflate precinct stats. Uh, okay, so you're a good cop. I'm good enough for this case. Good, good I'm enough. Not here to good enough is good enough. Because I had to. My fellow officers, the sergeants in particular, would have made this scene into a circus. Ah, okay. I wonder uh, what this is about me, that I was sent by my hmm. station. It's all part of the master plan, you see. The master plan? Who, who is, who's pulling the strings? That's what I want to know. I probably have an unbelievable... We know our kill count. We've, we've seen it. It must be an augury and a poly, uh, apocalyptic omen sent by my people. Can you guess my message? There can only be one conclusion. I am the finest case-solving machine sent to outperform you in any way, shape, or in any way, any, every way possible. Fuck, I can't read. I'm a highly experimental cop. But if I am right, this is outré, even by my standards. I was sent to teach you a lesson in style. Snap my fingers. No, we are uh, sent to outperform you. A good joke. Thank you. I I am really good at jokes. <laughs> okay, in truth, I will uh, moderately humiliate and outperform you. A joke, of course. Rest assured, I have no intention to compete with you. It's good we said these things. I don't. I don't want to keep with Kim. He's, uh, keep. I don't want to compete with Kim. He's gonna win. Was there anything else you wanted to ask about the competition? Uh, if not, we should move. Okay. What's so special about Martinez? Martinez. Nothing. It's huh. just a puddle at the end of some drain pipe. Uh, you said no it. one cares about this place. No one they care about shit. sports. Okay. Most of our colleagues don't even know how to get here. North of the interchange doesn't exist. Okay. I'll close my eyes. The rows are endless. Okay. We're going to look for Precinct 41. Jean Vitmer, Judith Minot, a special consultant. What was his name? What is this? Then the rows degrade into green nothingness. Okay. Enough of the competition. Yes, it's a wholly oh. pointless matter. Forget I ever mentioned it. Uh, we can... Uh, I'll try I'll try to roll. Look at that. We're, we're, we're pretty good here. Why did the 41st, 41st Precinct send me? Look at you. <sighs> It's because you're a failure. Oh. They sent you to slight Precinct 57. That doesn't make sense. If this is a pissing competition, why would they send, send me because I'm a failure? Are, 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 are they pissing on each other of who's got the worst cop? No, that can't be right. Just think about it for a second. Okay. You're a raging alcoholic. Yes. Who showed up three days late. Yes. Wearing piss-stained disco garb. Yes. You weren't sent here to win. So my precinct doesn't want Martinez. I take it then. They sent me to make sure that I fail so that they don't get Martinez to them. Uh, I've considered it. So it's true. It would be immensely ugly of them. Yeah. Not to mention but unprofessional. Why? Why? But I also think it's somewhat unlikely. It's, it, okay, why is that? I checked the records. This jurisdiction dispute, who polices Martinez? reaches back to the 30s. Okay. It's as old as my station. Yeah, that is old. And all this time, we can decide who gets Martinez? I think, yes, both stations would prefer a win. Okay, I checked the record. Okay, wait a minute. Who polices Martinez? It reaches back to the 30s. It's as old as your station. And all this time, we can't decide who gets Martinez. Both stations would prefer a win. So why did they send us? Do you really see me as a safe bet? Safe? No. But you are old. <laughs> I am old. You've made it this far. Something has brought you through. We've only just started working together. So I mean, I we do have like fucking yet. 200 and something there. solved cases. Or was it 300 even? We have a lot of sol solved so cases. no, I don't think they sent you as a joke. Ooh, and nice. even if they did, I mean, <laughs> they are in for a surprise. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to win. Uh, okay, I want to talk about you. We, we still need to kill seven minutes here. I want to talk about you. Me? Yes. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the no, investigation. No, but we are partners and we should know about each other. We'll work together if we have more rapport. Hmm, that's a fair point. Okay, good. All right. For the good of the investigation. Oh, great. What do you want to know? <laughs> you're So, you're wearing glasses. <laughs> well, we are, we are killing it with the small talk. That's correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well spotted. <laughs> you feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this. Mm. But you can't quite no, muster no, 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 no. enough testosterone. Okay, no, I don't want to, I don't want to fucking, 
Oh, good. We we failed. So if we if we succeeded this, I assume we could be like, hey, fucking four eyes. Like we would bully him. Just observing. I guess you don't need glasses then. No, I I do not. I am above such things. You don't look like other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's because I'm half Seolite or quarter. <laughs> my father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother. Okay. From my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. It's not an interesting topic, he says. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't speak a word of Seolite, and I've never met either one of my grandparents. There is nothing ethnic I can tell you or anyone else. Oh, come on. You can tell me something. Like, tell me what's... Uh, okay. Do you ever talk with yourself? What do you mean? Like, when you're thinking, do you ever have con conversations with your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, he doesn't have the same whatever uh, ails us. <laughs> because our brain sometimes tells us stuff. Like, my electrochemistry says, you should do these drugs. I guess Kim does not have that. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. Uh, so how do you, you know? <laughs> what? Think? Yes. <laughs> I do most of my work inside my notebook. Yeah, but that's not thinking. That's your work. The lieutenant. So he doesn't think. That's what I'm hearing. He doesn't think. Nemo A6 and idly thumbs through a few pages. Mm -hmm. We all have our different mediums. His is written. Okay. Okay, we still need two more minutes. Two. We need to kill two more minutes. Holy shit. Tell me a secret. No. Come on. Your brain Come sends on. the signal to your lips. Come on. But they refuse the order. Come on. Something ah, is paralyzing them. You're pretty Holy sure shit. it has something to do with... Oh, well, hello, Mr. Mister. How are you doing? Uh, the enlisted emerge has come. No way, no way. Huh? Huh? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is the enlisted merge? What is merging? What is enlist? What 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 has what has come? What is the enlisted merge? It's like you're locked down. It's locked down. What's happening to me? What's happened? Oh, it's it's nine o'clock. We can we can stop. Okay, give give up. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> we were just gonna. Bleh. <laughs> the lieutenant relaxes his He's not gonna tell us a secret. You seem to regain control okay. of yourself. Okay, thank you. That's uh, all for now. Let's change the subject. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, you seem to be following Excuse me. me. Uh, <laughs> nothing, just an observation. You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If thank I you. were to thank walk you. in front of you, mm. we would surely collide. Yes. Okay, sure. A moment, pop. Okay, goodbye. It is, one, it is now one minute past nine. Ah, oh, there he is. Just like fucking clockwork. John Damery, oh. you found me. Yes. That does that that does that does mean the is that the is that the police? I don't know. New update to a game. Uh enlisted World War Two. And there are campaigns uh all like different game with the same UI and guns and graphics, and now they merge all the campaigns together and mark guns easier to get. Oh that's that is nice, I guess. That is nice, I guess. I I uh, I do not know what game that is or en enlisted WW two. I don't. Okay, but it sounds cool. Sounds good that they have that they have merged it. I guess. I guess. I do not know. I'm not a. Uh, the figure is backlit by city um, lights. Oh, I don't know enough it's about games. I know about Disco Elysium at the moment. So like, like I purge my memory all ni all night. Every night when I go to bed, I just purge my memory and I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but I guess that sounds, that sounds good. That sounds cool. I uh, merged everything, like the campaigns and everything. Uh, it's PvP, not really competitive. Oh, I, I'm not a big PvP fan, uh, even if it's not very competitive. I just don't like player versus player. Uh, it's like I don't I don't play a lot of multiplayer games in general. Just and if they are multiplayer, usually what I like is like you know like playing I don't know uh, 1800. It's it can be multiplayer, but it's like, I I like playing it co-op with like you and one friend to play and more to sort of thing. That's what I like. That's what I like. Uh, but my, usually I, I only play single player games because uh, I like playing at my pace because I'm a, I'm a ding dong that take, you know, that like fucking stares into the wall sometimes and uh, playing with other people, they get uh, frustrated with me and I don't like that. 
Uh, his slender, 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 shit, I can't speak. Figure is backlit by city lights. It's a distant streets and motorways flashing like diamonds. Uh, team leader with five aides by your side. Oh, AI, aides, I read aides, <laughs> like, like, you know, uh, like a maid, basically, or a butler, like, you're... <laughs> um... We got your hint. Oh, right. Find the key. We found the key. Right. Beautiful. Exactly. You, you, beautiful. Yes. So tell me, mm. are you here to make things right again? Uh, depends on what's what is right. I'm not going to make things just right. I'm going to make them spectacular. Honestly, I'm just trying not to screw anything up. That's what I'm aiming for. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Don't you love when everything is beautiful? Uh, sorry, but you have five AIs? Huh? Do I have five AIs? You're a team leader with five AIs. And AIs are dumb. You are sorry, but yeah, I have... Do I have five AIs? I guess I have one AI, and that's Kim, and he just follows me around. I have some good news for you. My Sunday friend is visiting me tonight. I told him about <laughs> you, and he'd like to say hello. Step in. He's already waiting. Uh, AIs in a different intonation? AIs? A's? Eyes? A's. Eyes. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. My brain is breaking down. I, am I, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. That's probably why. I don't understand. I don't understand. Um... By the way, I'm really digging the view. Are we digging the view? I don't think we're digging the view. Why would I want to meet your friend? What is he talking about? I have some good news. Sun oh, right. He had a uh, he had someone over. Um, very well. I will talk to him. But first, I want to talk to you. I have so many questions. That's nice, but I don't have anything to tell you. It's my friend you're looking for, not me. I, I think you have something to tell me. He takes another drag of his unfiltered cigarette and looks around. Mm, it's unfiltered. Getting dark and the neighboring windows have lit up one by one. Still waiting on Red Dead Redemption. That's that's uh, how long how long until it arrives? How long until it arrives? Red Dead Redemption two. Oh, it's so good, so good. Played it so many times already. <laughs> Jesus Christ, fucking <laughs> played it like three times now. Holy shit. Downstairs, a cat crosses the yard, disappearing into the bush. I'm a bush. <laughs> okay. Besides, I've got to run. You, you don't run anywhere. I'm the... going to leave you alone again. That's sad. That's sad. That is sad. Something tells you you're never going to talk to an individual this cool or mysterious ever again. It was in Singapore. Where are you ordering this game from? It was in Singapore? What the hell? <laughs> in Singapore? Like, I mean, I don't, I don't usually order physical copies of games, but last time I did... Oh, it, oh, eBay, I see. Last time I ordered a physical copy of a game, it it, it arrived within, within a day. <laughs> Holy shit, that's crazy. A month ago. Maybe it's just gone. It's just it's just gone. It 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 disappeared into into thin air in Singapore. Jesus. Um, something tells me you're never. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, but I just found you. Again, run where? Where are you? Yeah, where are you gonna run? To the city. It's a beautiful night. Mm -hmm. Only if you promise that we'll talk again. It's important. Something flutters in the corner of the lieutenant's mouth. Huh? As you're saying those words. Kim, what are you, what are you, what are you, huh? We'll talk. Just not tonight. <laughs> Maybe it's doing the world. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds so weird. Why the, why the hell would it be in Singapore a month ago? That's like, what the hell? Okay, we, we're not going to talk to the smoker on the Take balcony care, tonight. Right. Oh, 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 we leveled up at least. Okay, so now it's time to interview the Sunday friend. And he's gone again. Okay. Looks like it's becoming a theme for him. Yeah, he just fucking comes and goes as he wants, right? Okay, all okay, and all of a sudden he's he's gone. Uh he's always leaving. Why is he always leaving, Kim? 
there's something so different. Don't even know where Singapore is. Well, Singapore is um, it's like on a uh, what are you called uh, peninsula, uh, like uh, around like uh, the Philippines and and uh, Indonesia, like south of Vietnam, I believe. Question mark. I think it's south of Vietnam. Or is it more east? I can't remember. It's some. It's somewhere. Somewhere on the e southeastern coast of Asia. My sister has been to Singapore. Um, it's like close, close to Japan and uh, Indonesia, and you know the Philippines and, and that sort of area, that sort of general area. Uh, there is something so different about him. I just can't put my finger on. Different, of course. Of course. His shirt, it's always unbuttoned. He's such a good listener. No, he, he really isn't. He just fucks off. Uh, it's just so mysterious. He smells so good. Uh, his shirt. Why is his shirt always his unbuttoned? Shirt. Yes. Trying to hold back. Why are you trying to hold back laughter? His shirt. His shirt. His shirt. He's trying to dive deep into the mysteries of his shirt there is a mystery of it the shirt his shirt no i don't know why his shirt is always unbuttoned okay okay he's barely holding it together what is he why is he it's all he can do to keep from bursting out in kim love. what is so funny tell me what's so funny kim come on detective mm. let's go no i've got a potential witness to interview his sunday friend remember yes i remember what is so what is so goddamn funny what do i amuse you <laughs> Like a clown. Oh, look at that. Hello, Sunday friend. A quarterly business magazine. What have we got in here? An empty ashtray. I'm gonna look around the apartment before we interview his Sunday friend. Dishes. So Governmental issues take me all over Revachol, as you can see. Okay, that's what the Sunday friend is saying. I just hope his voice is anything like that now. Flyer for... Okay, is this guy a communist? Probably. Dates for open lectures at all. Someone is always watching. Okay. He's got flyers for some kind of thing. <gasps> Look at that. What a... Oh, my God. Okay, right. We uh, uh, also... We have two skill points. We got two skill points. What should we put our skill points in? We can check uh, here. We should put them into... Half-Light. Maybe. And... Conceptualization? Physical instrument, physical instrument, physical instrument, physical instrument, physical instrument. That's a lot of physical instrument. I think physical instru instrument is a good one to put it in. And then we have volition and conceptualization, I guess, would be the other one. So, physical instrument. Yay. And conceptualization. Yay. Um, till it gets into Europe. It's gonna be. Uh, yeah, it sounds like it. Sounds like it's gonna take. It's gonna be a while. We can find a hat. What does our hat do? It's one reaction speed, negative one rhetoric. This one has one logic. We like logic. How does it look? I'm not sure how I feel about this hat, actually. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this hat. I like the hobo hat. That's I. We're gonna stick with the hobo hat, only because it looks nicer. I like. I kind of like the yellow hat now. Expensive men perfume. Men's perfume. An old photo of the same apartment, dated year. Oh, what? So that's nineteen oh one, I assume then. Nineteen oh one. Buckets of paint on a layer of old newspaper. An exquisite canopy bed made of metal. Okay, let's let's interview Officers this. Officers of the Revachol Citizens Militia. He did not speak like this. I felt I told you exact same thing while playing the same game two times already. Oh, I can't remember. I mean, like there is a chance that you did tell me this <laughs> before because my memory is awful. Uh, there is a chance you have told me this before, and I uh, just. Uh, fucking do not remember, but more likely it's it's probably deja vu. Just deja vu. Mm. 
I have not had deja vu in a in a while, but I hear it 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 goes away with age. I've heard that the older you get, the less likely you are to uh, to get deja vu. Like it is most prominent in your teens, and then when you hit like when you're getting close to thirty or something, that's when it sort of drops off. And then when you're forty, it's it's very rare to have deja. It still happens, but it's it's more likely to happen in your teens. Which makes sense because that's when your brain is developing quite a lot. So it makes sense because deja vu is something, some something is going on with the brain. So it makes sense that when when your brain is developing, that's when it's the high high highest likelihood of deja vu. Okay, I was expecting him to be more of a uh, sort of a nerdy voice, speaking this uh, like nasally voice. His hands are clean and well manicured. Oh. This is a man who knows Mine the importance are. of appearance. They're clean, but they are not well mani manicured, uh, for sure. But they are clean. I, I, I always keep my hands clean. My name is Charles Vildroin. That's a good and name. And I'm an official with the coalition government. Really? I work for the Institute of Price Stability on assignment from Sur La Clé. Oh, oh! So his Sunday friend... His Sunday friend... They're having secret meetings about revolution. I heard you talking to my friend outside. Very good. Super. Super, indeed. I am here okay. to assist you in any way possible. <laughs> ask me about the hanging. <laughs> it's kind of unnerving when it's like, ask me about the hanging, please. Hanging? What's a drag? He seems like a cultured gentleman. You should ask him about the finer things. Mm, let's uh, let's see if he has. Did it, have you had some good wine? Uh, <laughs> we found the hat. Tell us about the hat. Before we go on, I absolutely have to inquire about this wonderful canopy. Oh, yes. My friend has a great eye for this. Indeed, he does. He refuses to tell me where it came from. Ah, oh. it's a mystery. She. <laughs> oh. I believe they call this type of frame mm. industrial. Very comfortable. It's very comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable indeed. We're just gonna pretend to be very, uh, like uh, cultural here. We need to impress this guy. That's really all I can tell you about it. Oh. What a shame! I would have loved it. It, it. One of these would look so good in, in the upstairs living room, or bedroom. Sorry, not in the notebook, living room. We don't, we don't put beds in the living room. Um, you actually witnessed the lynching. Uh, when we speak to this guy, we have to put on this voice. Otherwise, he's gonna think we are some kind of bum, and we are we're not a bum. Uh, can you tell me about your friend? Ah, hmm. my friend. Yes. My friend is a good young man. Uh, he is. His family immigrated here from Kedra, and Wonderful. life has not been easy for him. Mm. But he understands the importance of education. He has taken his future into his own hands, and that's all that matters. It is all that- okay. What a wonderful- what a wonderful boy. Smart, intelligent boy. Uh, how did you two even become friends? Uh, you still haven't told me who he is. Sorry. What the fuck? Sorry, who? The man throws a quick glance as well. Your friend, the smoker on the balcony. But I told you, officer. He's a bright young man here to pursue his education. Education is the foundation of our future, especially the arts. It is a cornerstone of our civilization. Okay. Fine, but what's his real name? Officer, you have to understand. I can't give oh, you come this on. information. I'm sure you have your own methods and databases, right? Please don't put me in this situation. Ah, so all you could tell to, uh, me about him is that you are he's here to study the arts. He's deeply enmeshed in the study of the fine arts, yes. As though you weren't envious enough of the uh, oh. boy as is. Okay. Which arts? He's a truly free spirit. He likes all the arts. Oh, just all art. Perhaps design, <laughs> just printmaking. He came here to Who study knows? art. What type of art? The world just is open wide for art. Art. Okay. Okay. How did you two become friends? How did any of us become friends? That's a good question. Back how does one? On how how so do? How, how does one become friends? You just, you just night, start talking, and then all of a sudden you 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 hang out. Finally, the international community is forced to step in. Uh, what are you talking about? No one becomes friends that way. What did he ever say? Oil platforms ablaze in the night. Civil wars lasting for a few years. Okay. Au contraire. Oh. It's how millions of people end up where they are. Meeting the people they meet. It's how I came here. And my friend, too. Through the revolution! Oh, shit. Hit the, I hit the thing. 
Uh, sure. Maybe maybe the maybe the maybe the stream is on a on a delay and it's like looping. Or uh, like I also I also tend to repeat myself, so that could just be a thing. It could just be a, a thing where I repeat myself because I I think I do that quite a lot actually. Um, what are you doing in his apartment by yourself? I'm just enjoying the view. Uh, what view? It's dark outside. Isn't it rude for your friend to leave you alone like We're this? We're old friends. Nothing's taboo between us. Okay. He comes and goes. And you just hang around in his apartment. That's creepy. I'm sure you'll see him around. He's very active. Yeah. What's Kendra? Kendra is a candidate member of APIS. What is that? But between you and me, their potential membership is a more contentious issue. What do you mean? That it's never going to happen. Okay. They enter negotiations in 21, and it's been pending ever since. And it's like the 50s now. So they've been going on for almost 30 years. Wow. Okay. Uh, But that doesn't tell me anything about Kendra itself. Is it warm there? Cold? Something in between? What's this EPSIS thing you keep talking EPIS about? EPIS is a very oh, special EPIS, program EPIS. developed by the Moral EPSIS. Intern to EPSIS. support certain Occidental nations. It began as a unified system of weights and measures, okay. which proved to be a wild success. Nothing but kilograms and centimeters as far as the eye can see. Uh, a few days ago, at exactly 4 o'clock... I watched my stream. I don't, I can't remember. Maybe <laughs> I, I I like I I start streaming and I lose all concept of time. Uh, but I, I assume so. You're you're here. Uh, like you were probably here a few days ago. Yes. And you said what? Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, what did I say? Um, I don't think you're going insane. You're just um you just have this. You're just th thinking about deja vu now. So you have like a confirmation bias. Uh, you're like. Because you're thinking about it, uh, everything seems to be related to it. I think that's it. I think it's. A, I think you just you just let it go, and focus on the now, and uh, it will go away uh, by itself. Good. Yes. Sweet standardization. Uh, the backbone of rationality. Or maybe you're going course. insane. Aren't we all slowly going insane? Isn't that just living? Isn't that just life? Slowly going insane. <laughs> it was such a wild success that we expanded it into an economic union for the processing of steel. Another success. Okay. And between another success, me, mm -hmm. the moral intern feels emboldened by this success. Emboldened to take EPIS to the next level. What's the next? Oh, what's on the next level? Exactly what I wanted to ask. What's on the next level? The supranational political alliance. The United States of Occident. Okay. Is it going to be like this place here? You mean Revachon? Yes. No. It's going to have transparent democracy. Okay. Is Revachon going to be part of EPIS? It's one day going to be a candidate member of EPIS. Okay. Sure. Okay, so it might not be a part of it, but it's going to try. It's going to be a candidate. Except that mm. candidate members never become well, they, full they might. They, they, can, they can become they? full members, right? Isn't that? Did you say the candidate members never become real members? No, no. Candidate members do become. Yeah. Members. Why do we even have the whole system in place? Oh wait. Oh, okay. He's a. It just I, takes time. I think I know what's time going on here. And evaluation. He is a he is a politician or something, right? So he's gotta speak in politics, which means that he is going to he's never gonna answer any questions. He's just gonna ask more questions and loop around and contradict himself and then say like, "Oh, I never said that." Ah, oh, he's, he's a politician. But we were talking about my friend here, not politics. Yes, exactly. But you don't want to talk about your friend either. So it's like, fuck. No, okay, I had something I'm else. I'm all ears, officer. You, uh, what's an official like you doing in Martinez? The coalition is only looking out for the price stability. Okay. Inflation is a killer, like a heart disease blocking the normal circulation yes, of yes, the economy. Yes, yes, yes. It must be controlled. Yes, inflation is killing us all. The economy impacts the entire international community, which is why it requires international oversight. Okay, but what are you doing here? Exactly, look at this. He's not answering any questions. He's just dancing. He's, just, he's a politician. He's not answering any questions. So, okay, now look at this. We're going to ask him, what are you doing here in this apartment? Ah, uh, well, I'm renovating. Okay, he, has, he actually asked it that one. interesting <laughs> project. The building used to be a 12-story skyscraper before the cannons took the top four stories off. Oh. 
This, of oh, course, shit. happened when the coalition forces landed here. Oh, shit. Forced? Okay, wow. You could say I'm undoing some of the material damage the international community caused when we arrived here. All right. So what is this international community? La communauté internationale is what Rivacholians colloquially call the coalition. The coalition. In other words, the nations that stopped the disaster of the revolution. Okay. And what do I call the coalition? Your employer, technically speaking. <gasps> the governing oh. authority of Rivachol. Oh, no. The RCM is but one part of this provisional administration. Oh, no. We are working. We work for them. We work... For them. Okay, uh, so you're some kind of bureaucrat. Yes. As I said before, I am a commissioner from sur la Clé working for the Institute of Price Stability. Okay. This is one of the main projects of the Moral Inter. So that's... Okay, so that's why he's interested in inflation. He's working... He's like... Institute of Price Stability? Sounds like it's like, you know, stabilizing something. Probably prices, aka the economy. He's working on stabilizing the economy, which means that he cannot have rampant, rap, rapid inflation going around. Wait, there isn't actually an Institute of Price Stability, oh. is there? Oh. Or maybe there is. Oh. God, it's impossible to understand whether someone from the moral intern is joking or not. Maybe he's lying. Maybe there isn't. Maybe he's he's not. Oh, what is the price stability? It is the most important. Z okay, <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> the, it is the most important thing. Uh, that doesn't tell me anything. Uh, it's the central goal of any sound monetary policy. Okay. Maintaining the price stability is essential to maintaining high levels of economic activity, oh. which is essential for maintaining high levels of employment. Okay, high levels of economic economic activity is essential for maintaining high levels of employment. Which is essential for maintaining the social stability. Okay, which, okay. Basically, it makes sure the price of bread doesn't change. Yes. But the price of bread has to change sometimes. Precisément. Too much inflation, bread becomes too expensive. Yes. Too much deflation, it becomes too cheap for bakers to produce. Yes. Yes. That's why the Institute of Price Stability works Perfect. To just like in real life. Just below 2%. Just like in real life. You want you want the inflation for some reason. I don't actually know why because I'm not uh, you know, I'm not a, a professor of fucking macroeconomics, but apparently 2% is is a good in inflation rate apparently. I don't know why, but apparently 2% ish is what most countries are aiming for. But not too far below. No. Exactly. Too no. below is also bad. Yes. Below but close to two percent. Yes, close to two. Like I, th I think, I think before the the sort of general global inflation crisis. Is it a crisis? Maybe it's not a crisis. Inflation has hit hard this ca this past year, and before then, I think at least Sweden like was was having a one point eight percent inflation rate, which was like on spot on the spot. Like that's exactly where they wanted it. And then for some reason it just woof went straight up and was close to like ten percent at some at some not not ten maybe eight percent yeah everything everything went a bit fucky for a while. The coalition believes in the importance of informing the public about the benefits of the price stability. Transparency is one of our principles. Would you like an informational pamphlet? Uh, yes, thank you. Give me a leaflet. A sound monetary policy is essential. It could be good for, for evidence, maybe. Uncertainty. But, oh, oh shit, fuck, he wasn't I don't have it. my leaflets on me today. Oh, That's okay. too bad. That's too bad. You can always call our information line. Ah. Making information available is part of the moral intern's commitment to transparency. Good. Okay, so he said stability is the uh, raison d'être of the moralist. It is the reason why he identifies as a moralist. So he's a moralist. Okay. Uh, I've heard about this morale in turn before. I want to know more. Okay. It's the International Organization for Moralists. Mm. Hence, Moralist International. Of course. The Institute of Price Stability is just one of its many mind babies. Mind babies. Don't course. call it a mind baby, please. <laughs> Don't, do not call the Institute of Price Stability a mind baby. 
<laughs> That's like, call it something else, please. Uh, so we're actually working for the moral intern. That doesn't seem too bad. So what I'm hearing is that we are moral intern bitches. Let's ask him. We're actually working for the moral intern. That doesn't seem so bad. They are more oh, hello there, son. How are you doing? How are you doing, son? Hope you're doing well, Patat. Welcome in. Welcome in. Sorry about the... I, I'm, I'm uh, not feeling sick, but I, I have a little stuffy nose and a bit of a sore throat. So it's like, sorry if I if I sound weird and do the, the sniffle, sniveling. Uh, but yeah, welcome in. I hope you're doing good. How are you doing? Uh... We already know he's a moralist. But of course. He's already said it. Been watching the the Vinland saga. It's super good anime. Is it anything to do with the Danish? Cause they have an island called Vinland. <laughs> uh or something. Is it or has it has it anything to do with Look, so, so, so intelligent. And that's why I can never watch it. <laughs> because it's the Danish. Just kidding. Just kidding, of course. Um, look, what I know. Oh, I, so, so smart. This is why we became a police officer. Yeah, it's like the Viking. Sound, sound, I, 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 that made sense. When I saw Vinland, it was like, that sounds like it's, it's Vikings. It sounds, yeah, well, they... I mean, the Vikings were fucking brutal, so I guess it's, uh, are, are they going over and raiding monasteries? That's what they fucking did. That's what they did. They went over, raided monasteries, and then they took over some land in the north, and then they sort of conquered a bit of it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vinland is a, uh, it's an island. It's a Danish island. It's sort of between um, Sweden, the southern tip of Sweden and Denmark uh, in the in the uh, sort of uh, inlet between the uh, Atlantic Ocean and the uh, Baltic Ocean. It's like a, a little, sort, of, sort of little inlet, which is called uh, Skagerrak and Kattegat. And uh, it's in there. It is in there. Uh, but But why? Why are you a moralist? Because moralists believe in a normal, stable world governed by democratic values. Okay. <laughs> Lieutenant, are you a moralist? Mm, me? I, uh... Are you a moralist, Kim? You've managed to catch the Lieutenant off guard. That's, that doesn't happen very often. Moment. Yeah. He quickly recomposes himself. Oh, we managed to stump him. I'm a Lieutenant of the RCM. Yes. Dedicated to maintaining law and order in Ravashon. And... A very moralist answer. Good, he is the moralist. You made a a big life decision. What is your big life decision? Tell me about your your big life decision. Whatever it is, you know that I am proud of you, son. Uh, what is a normal, stable world? The Occident is part of the normal world. Orangé sur la clé. Sur la clé. Oh, I see where this is going. I see where this is going. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Have you uh, like make make sure make sure uh, make make sure she's not watching the stream? <laughs> like, uh, I. <laughs> oh, have you have you have you uh, have you decided on a on a uh, on uh, when and where to do it? I'm assuming you are going to pr propose to your girlfriend, or you know, ah, good, <laughs> good, good. I just, I'm assuming that, <laughs> it's like, I'm, or, 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 are you just buying engagement drink for, 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 for the hell of it? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, very happy for you. Uh, very happy for you. Have you decided on a day, uh, sort of, uh, like time and place? You doing anything super special? Are you gonna surprise her with something, or are you just gonna go out for a fancy dinner? That's very. I'm very happy for you. I like. Uh, like. That's that's amazing. That is amazing. Go to the Oregon coast. Want to do it next to a campfire? We're just gonna have on the beach. That sounds amazing. That is a fucking great. That is fucking great. 
I mean, I I can't imagine. I would I would have loved that. If 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 uh, if I was a, your girl, girlfriend, I would I would I would definitely say yes. If you proposed on a on an Oregon coast to a, next to a campfire, holy shit, that's very com very very comfy. Comfy. <laughs> I wanted to say comfy and cozy, but <laughs> it, it became it became comfy. <laughs> Martinez. Oh, but no. very happy for you. Martinez very happy for you. Something else. That's amazing. That is very. That is amazing. And also, in indeed, a big life decision. I'm proud of you. I am proud of you. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, yeah, but I mean, I, 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 I totally get it because it, it's not a. It isn't an easy like, or it could be an easy decision, but it's still like it. It is a. It is a big decision, like. So e even if you, even if you know like this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with, it's still a big decision to 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 actually propose. That's a, that's a big one, but yeah, that's that's very cool. That is very cool. And then we need, <laughs> and then we need to spam spam the chat. So <laughs> so uh, if your girlfriend next day or uh, wakes up, she can't re she can't read the, the chat. <laughs> Just if if she wakes up, just slam the computer down. It's like, oh no, it's just don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like, so she doesn't, doesn't wake up, difficult. looks looks it's over and sees the chat. <laughs> it's like, what? Hasn't yet achieved full democracy. Uh, just listening to this fucking guy talking about moralism. Just watching porn, yeah. Just watching, watching mustache porn. Uh, you want you want to watch with me? <laughs> it's like, what if she's just, just yes to that one? <laughs> Shit. Like, don't worry, hon. I'm just watching porn, mustache porn. You want to watch? Well, it's like, yeah, sure. It's like, fuck, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> but if I, I if, if if that's the case, I'll just slap on the uh, slap on the mustache cam. I'll just slap on the mustache cam. <laughs> Twirl my mustache. <laughs> You're all doing very well here, relatively speaking. Uh, we're all doing well. Okay, sure. I don't think I'm a moralist. Moralism sounds incredibly boring. I want more action. Moralism is the ideology of a foreign occupiers. Ravashol must be governed by Ravasholians. Democracy is meaningless. It's a meaningless sham. As long as. The working class is under the boot heel of capitalism. It's like the very time I'm talking to people, I'm choosing option D, none of the above. I don't think I'm moral. moral we, 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 we are in game. We're an action cop. We're not really sorry cop, but we like action. We like to kick things up a notch, you know? Bam! Do you think peace is boring? Yes. <laughs> what about prosperity? Super boring. <laughs> That shit sounds like a snooze thing. Now, nah, peace sounds pretty good, though. Uh, you're, you're right. Peace sounds pretty good. Exactly. Yeah. I don't find it boring. I find it fulfilling. Mm. Peace is what allows me to okay, have my he, own. He managed Coffee, to convince us. We, we're love, idiots. <laughs> it's like, friends. peace, prosperity, welfare, boring. The smile he gives you is straight off a campaign poster. Mm. The kind of smile... <laughs> Fees doesn't pay the bills! ...to appeal to the most gullible swathe of the electorate. I don't think... I, I guess war doesn't pay the bills either. It's like... The the, the, the the most costly thing in the world is warfare, basically. Pay... pay like... Just look at... Like, just look up how much the, the Americans are spending on the fucking... Uh, on, on their military budget. It's insane. It's insane. Now, enough of this delightful political... If there was no... If there were... Was there anything exactly, else you wanted I'll, to ask? Yeah, yeah, I mean... Isn't it like something fucking... Like, Americans spend more money than the next 10 countries combined. Like, when it comes to military budget. They spend more than the next 10 combined on, like, things. And then they have the fucking nerve to say that... Uh, public health care is expensive. Just, just saying, just saying, just saying. I think, I think you could, you could take a couple of billion from the military and put it into public health care. Just saying, just saying. Uh, 
Tell me about Sir Laclé. What's there to say? I don't know. You tell Sir me. Laclé is a modern, urbanized country that measures very high on the human development and freedom index. All right. Mostly, though, it's known as. The uh, yeah, I know. And then you had. EPIF. And then you had fucking like uh, presidents like Obama who tried to push through like a very basic very very basic sort of you know at least a a groundwork for public health care and people are like what are you communist <laughs> and they throw it in the gutter gutter it's like what are you idiots what the fuck is wrong with america <laughs> like what the hell <laughs> like fucking idiots <laughs> sorry <laughs> like like I'm, I'm not a i don't like i don't like talking politics i try to avoid talking politics <laughs> But I, I just don't understand it. It's insane. Uh, they don't want. No, I guess. Uh, yeah, no. They want you to be. Want you to be stuck in the system. Uh, and I mean that, like, like. I don't think an education prevents that. So uh, the capitalist capitalists, uh, they'll they'll still have cogs for the machinery, so to speak. Moreover, it is a great sponsor of less emerged countries. Uh, I mean, look at look at look at uh, the Nordic countries. We're very well educated in the Nordic countries, but we still we still manage pretty fucking well with our industries. Uh, you know, pr manage pretty fucking well. Like for for being extremely small countries in the grand scheme of, scheme of things, we still export and produce a shitload of goods. Like, you know, it's 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 crazy, darling. That can't be and maybe that has to do with something about education. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, no, no, uh, <laughs> we're not going to dig deep into politics. Uh, if we want to discuss politics, we can do it in, in the Discord or something. Because politics are, uh, it's a touchy subject. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. And also, I don't like discussing politics. Uh, the worst economy. Yeah, I, I, I can, I can bet. I like. Uh, I don't really follow a lot of news, but from what I understand, it is uh, not great. It is not great. What makes Ravachol Sur La Clé's darling? Because a great percentage of Ravachol's culture hails from Sur La Clé, its language, its people. It's cuisine, even. Okay. Or at least in the downtown La Delta area. All right. Is, uh... Jamrock okay. and other parts of the international zone have been mercifully spared of Sir Laclay's love for meatballs what? and mashed potatoes. Is Sir Laclay Sweden in this game? Meatballs and mashed potatoes? Meatballs and mashed potatoes? Or do they also... Can we ask them if they also do uh, cheap... Uh, yeah, afford... Or, uh, Cheap and affordable is kind of not all, not synonyms, but they're almost the same thing. Do they also make uh, affordable uh, furniture that you have to uh, put together yourself? Because if that's the case, Sir Laclé is definitely Sweden in this game. Orani is an exemplary nation who, as a core member of EPIS, contributes 28% of our annual budget. Wow. Next to Sir Laclé... Oranier is probably the most prominent member Ooh. of the international community. Okay, love IKEA. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't think I love IKEA, but I have nothing against. It's an American staple. Well, I mean, is it really? It's, it's a Swedish staple. <laughs> That's, it's a Swedish staple. We, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's just a Swedish thing. I was, I went to, I went to IKEA. I went to IKEA recently. What did I get? I got a, I got a thing. I got, I, I bought something at IKEA. That doesn't happen a lot, uh, because you know I, I already have furniture. But I, I did buy like, oh, I bought a little, uh, a little bedside table, right? Because uh, for the new, new, uh, new apartment that I'm living in now, bought a little bedside table. That's why. Um... I, don't I, I really don't want to talk to this guy, but we we have to talk to this guy. I wanted to talk to the other guy. Why why why? hosts the headquarters of the major EPIS. Okay, like we, I wanted to talk to the smoker on the balcony, and it said like wait until nine o'clock and talk to the smoker on the balcony. And there he was outside. He was out in the balcony. We talked to him, and then he fucked off. It's like talk to my friend instead. And now we're talking to this boring motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the most advanced in the world. 
It has successfully transitioned from heavy industry to advanced services okay. and generally acts as an engine for sustainable change in the international community. But that didn't tell you anything about Aranye. Okay, I once heard from here that they are reasonably sized superpower. Can't you just talk like a normal person? About what? Her? Uh, like the drive to Ikea. There's over two and a half hour round trip drive. I like to go to Ikea and walk around and not buy. I mean, I, 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 I kind of like just walking around. To, for, for, for now, it was, it was about a two hour round trip where I lived before. But now I live in, in a new town. Uh, and it's like a 10 minute drive to Ikea, basically. Uh, it's like a 10 minute drive. Uh, and I can take the bus there very easily. Uh, not to buy stuff, but just to hang out because it's right next to a big old shopping mall as well. That's pretty damn nice, just being able to, to roam around. Just fucking nice. Yeah, because now I live in a big city all of a sudden. Uh, exactly. I'm, I'm a city boy. I'm a city slicker. I mean, I, I was kind of before, but it's like, I'm a city boy. Oh, it's very urban and back very to my hometown urban. where I where I'm from, or I, I guess I was I was from the country outside the of this town, but efficient. I'm back to this town. Like I said, they are an example. But I came from the countryside outside of this town, about about uh about forty minutes outside of this town. Uh, that's where I lived. Never visit Portland, Oregon. I mean, if I if I visit America, like I said before, if I do visit America at some point, which is probably very unlikely. Uh, to be fair, but Oregon is one of the places I have. I, I I'm going to go to Oregon. Like that's just gonna it's just gonna happen. That will just happen because like the Pacific Pacific um, West Coast is definitely a, a place I want to be, especially the northern part of the you know, especially the 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 northern northern bits. That's where I want to go. Want to go up to the mountains? I want to experience the fucking big old woods. I've heard good things about Seattle. It's up there, right? Exactly, right, yeah, the Pacific Northwest, right. Uh, why did I say Pacific North Coast? Or West Coast? I don't know. I meant the Pacific Northwest. That's what I meant, at least. <laughs> but I, 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 I said something. Yes, yeah, I've heard good things about Seattle. I've heard good things, but I, I don't know a lot of... Uh, Whatever of, you wish, of, officer. You know, what, what goes on in America. Like, to be fair, I don't really have an interest to go to America. It's like... There are a lot of other places I'd rather go than America, to be fair. <laughs> like New Zealand, for example, is one of them. Uh, it's a, was a pile of shit behind your car? Was it actually a pile of shit? <laughs> did, they, did they, like, dump a, a truck of shit in your car? Uh, or are you, do you mean another car that was a pile of shit? Uh, you, okay, the, the fucking this guy... Oh my god. Oh my god. What a fucking guy this guy was. Oh, I'm so bored now. <laughs> Why did it? <laughs> I talked to this guy and now I'm bored. <laughs> Why did that happen? <sighs> uh, I think we need to we need to start talking about the murder. Uh, oh, so oh, okay. So uh, it's not a, like a not a I thought you had a, like a pile of shit, like a, a big old pile of shit. So you meant like someone took a someone took a shit. Someone just s sat down and had a shit. I see. I see. I thought you meant like a big pile, like a pile of manure, basically. Like someone just dumped a pile of shit. <laughs> uh, that would... I, I don't know what would be worse. I don't know what's worse. Because it feels like if there was a like a, a big pile, a big old pile, then it was just an accident. Like a truck or something just ac accidentally dumped it. But if someone actually took a shit behind your car, that is intentional. That's someone, someone just like, I really want to take a shit and I'm going to do it behind this car. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this guy. Did you see the, the lynching? I'm sorry to say I did, officer. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. This guy saw the murder take place. It's just a break we've been looking for. Easy, detective. No need to jump to conclusions. Oh, come on, Kim. Ex be a bit excited, please, for my sake. Stop, stop. Come on, just a bit of excitement, please. Is it... Is it because you did it, Mr. No, wait, okay, start from the beginning. Officer, it's very difficult to describe what I saw that night. Oh. It was so surreal to me, like in a play. Okay. Uh, Wanna visit New York City? I've heard... 
I've had I've I had two friends that've been in New York. Both of them said it's all right. Uh, but it's it's huge. It's it's big. It's big. You know, it's big, big, big and smelly. Basically, that's just big. Big cities are just big and smelly. It smells like piss and vomit. That's like, <laughs> but that's just all all big cities. That's just all big cities. Um. LA sucks. I've had my my best friend's been to been to uh, LA, I believe. Uh, I guess it also depends on where in the city you go, like where where it. Uh, and Portland is filled with crazy homeless people. Seattle is kind of cool. Boston. Is, my dad was uh, he was in Boston. Uh, he he went to to um, Massachusetts for work, and he uh, he was way up in the in the bush. But then one day they they went down to Boston and and hung out there, and uh, he bought me a um, a, a, a an American football. I, I was a bit into American football as a uh, as a teenager, uh, just a bit, not not a lot, just a super tiny bit because it's kind of hard to get American football over to Sweden and on television and stuff. But I kind of enjoyed it, and uh, I was a Steelers fan, and uh, Dad bought me a uh, American football. With the Pittsburgh Steelers logo uh, and a jersey of um, Heinz Ward. Uh, no, I got Steelers merchandise. I got the Steelers merchandise. Yeah, I like the. I like the. Yeah, because uh, you know, because Dad didn't have time to go around the whole fucking. Yeah, I guess he just found a, a, a NFL store that sold all the merchandise. I assume, uh, like, I just assume he found, like, the official NFL store that actually sells, like, everything. But yeah, he bought, he bought, he bought a Heinz Ward uh, jersey, uh, and because that's, uh, he, Heinz Ward played, this was back in 2008, so he was a wide receiver. Uh, Heinz Ward was a wide receiver for, um, for um, Pittsburgh Steelers back then. And uh, yeah, so he got me that, which was Kinda nice, he holds out his hands but I haven't watched American football in fingers, fucking five years, like maybe. Like so, sometimes, see. sometimes I, I put on the Super Bowl when it's uh, when it's the Super Bowl, just put it on in the sort of thing, because you know Super Bowl starts uh, like half past midnight over uh, local time, so that's when it starts here. So it's, it's, uh, it's you, gotta, you gotta fucking prepare if you want to watch Super Bowl. You gotta fucking prepare yourself, uh, which is kind of hard when you have a job to get to uh, seven in the morning <laughs> when the Super Bowl starts at fucking starts midnight or half past midnight and uh, ends like five a.m. and then it's like, oh right, now it's time time to get into job to to work in two hours. No sleep. What do you mean, like in a play? Uh, but yeah, also it's like uh, it, it, I was lucky that I didn't get fucking lynched or something like you know buying Steelers uh, merch in uh, in Boston. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I guess he he bought it and then just stuffed it in a bag, quick as quick as balls. And then it's like, yay, go Patriots! Uh, go. Uh, who was the quarterback back then? Uh, one of the pay, uh, one of the brothers, right? Uh, Manning. Some of the one of the Manning, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning. Some one of those. One of those guys were the was the was the, was the quarterback then, right? Oh, was it Tom Brady? Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, it uh, was in. Oh, right, 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 right. Manning was like, was it? Yeah, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. You're right. You're right. Like uh, the Mannings were. Was it? Is it the Eagle? I can't. I don't. Can't remember. So long ago. I remember Eli. Eli and Peyton Manning. Right. One of them was one of them in. One of them Tennessee, and the other the e Eagles maybe. Giants and Colts really. Oh right, the Giants make sense because one of I have had a friend who liked the Giants just because, just because he liked the the logo. I would never have guessed Colts. It was just so strange. Never I guessed Colts. What was but happening. like I said, this was back in two thousand eight, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Those th those were the like three years when I was the most most interested. He went to yeah. I remember he went to the Broncos, but that was like that was later, right? I was on the balcony. I just had to. I just had to go with Roethlisberger because you know he he was fucking. He, he was just. This is like the quarterback for fucking fifteen years or something crazy like that. Not fifteen. Was it? No, it was like ten years at least. Yeah, like I just had. I just had to remember fucking Ben Roethlisberger because he was like the quarterback for like two thousand and six to two thousand and fucking twenty one or something. It's like fucking hell <laughs> for for the for the Steelers. <laughs> 
That's when I understood I should not okay. be seeing this. Okay, he should not be seeing... Sounds like the victim was unconscious. Or oh, I got an achievement. Oh, really get Kim well done, to trust detective. me. Apparently, Kim trusts me now. The achievement said so. <laughs> okay. So what did he say? Okay, let's actually... Okay, fucking hell. Uh, we, need to, we need to actually focus here. What did he say? So strange. I could barely comprehend what was happening. I, I was on the balcony when it happened. Getting some fresh air. Remember that they first came in carrying what looked like a body. Then I saw the surrounding windows go dead one by one. Then I understood I should not be seeing this. Okay. How many? I couldn't tell you exactly. Less than ten. I was just about to say, was Maybe it eight? was it was it eight? The lieutenant sent you a good, sharp good, look good. at the mention of that number. Were any of them huge? Like two hundred kilograms huge. That's a giant you're describing. Yes. No, they were all quite human. Okay, so as far as I could tell. He was carrying the body. The 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 the, the one who was who, who whose footprints looked like it he was weighing 200 kilos he was carrying the body that's why so it's like it's two people i went back inside oh were you able to see anything from inside officer the yard was pitch black cheat there was nothing to see but i could still hear their voices okay were they they were threatening to kill that poor man threatening to kill him threatening to kill him was he not already dead when they hung him. Gotta go to bed? Yeah, alright, you yeah, you go to bed, uh, you go to bed, obviously, uh, gotta do that. You know, gotta gotta slip, gotta sleep. Um, and yeah, to uh, I'll talk to you later, glad to see you, uh, as always, and you know, take care of yourself, and uh, I'll see you around. And thank you for the kind words, I'll have a great stream. Always do, always do. Sleep well, my son. Okay. Were they men? Women? I thought I thought he was already dead. Because we found the bullet in him. Did they shoot him after they hanged him then? If they were threatening to kill him. Okay, were they men? Women? All men, I presume. But again, I couldn't see very okay. clear. Probably one woman. Hmm. But we are fairly certain... <laughs> oh, Jesus, sorry. Ooh. Was present. Oh, I've been waiting for that sneeze for a fucking while. Okay. Yes. It was one woman, probably. Are you sure at least one of them was in a woman? It's possible, officer. It's possible. But I cannot say with certainty. Okay. It was very dark, you must remember. Oh, I remember. What ethnic ethnic ethnicity was it? I believe they were mostly white, though I believe I saw two Aeropagites among them. I don't know what that means. And I am quite certain that one spoke with a mask accent. Okay. What happened next? Well, that's the strangest part, officer. Nothing happened. It was oddly quiet for a public lynching. What do you mean, nothing? They lynched the guy. Eventually, their shouts died down, and that was all. There were no gunshots, no celebratory no shouts, no anything. Mm, this doesn't make a lot of sense. No gunshots. But where did the bullet come from? It must have happened before or late afterwards? Why didn't you call the RCF? You're right, of course. Oh, yeah? That is what one is supposed to do in such circumstances. Yes. I was simply in shock. That's not an excuse. I'm afraid I don't have anything else to add. Okay. About what time was all this happening, approximately? All I can say is that it was late. You didn't check your watch. My watch? Yes, now I remember. Oh. It was 30 minutes past midnight. Give or take. Give or take. Okay, so let's get this straight. You didn't actually witness the hanging itself, did you? No, I didn't see the corpse until the following day. Mm. It seems this wasn't the break you were hoping for. No, we weren't. No, it was. I think we have everything we need. Thank you for talking to us. Mr. So... Of course. Anything I can do to assist the RCF. So... <laughs> So, he probably... A moment, officer. Okay. Let's just, before, before we talk to him again, let's just re... Or, or, yeah, think. So, they probably did kill him before. They probably shot him before, because that's what, that's what I remember from interviewing people last time we played this game. They probably shot the guy before, and then they just hanged the body to sort of... Disguise the fact that they shot him. Now, 
why they were threatening a dead guy. That's probably just to make it appear as if though he was still alive. They just if there are any witnesses, they want to be like, oh, let's just uh, let's just pretend that we're threatening him. Otherwise, because he he said it was quite quiet for a lynching. We you would have heard the guy screaming and resisting. And when he was when they were hanging him, he would have wiggled and tried to try to wriggle free, and they would have screamed a bit more, and you know. So I think I think it still makes sense. They shot him before they hanged him. Do you have everything you need from me? I'm afraid we won't have the chance to speak again once you leave. Ah, why can't we talk later? It's against diplomatic best practices for an official in my position to be discussing murders with local militiamen. Okay. And I'm pressed for time. After you leave, Shit. I should be leaving as well. Ah, I see. That's not the real reason he's so apprehensive. Mm. Men in his position shouldn't be seen loitering around in underprivileged young men's apartments in the why? middle of the night. I'm not going anywhere. I just want to take a look around in this apartment. Mm, okay, let's... Let, sure, go ahead. Let's do it's take a, a look around space. to make sure we didn't miss anything. But I think we have checked everything. What is this? Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I don't I, I we're not going to carry it because it adds electrochemistry, but holy shit, that did look fabulous. Okay. Let's uh let's ask it. Was there anything else? Uh no, apparently not. Okay, well, okay. We are we're done with this man. Shit. Okay, I guess we got some information, maybe? Okay, well, it's it's time for bed. Uh, ooh. Ooh, look at that. Mustache, medium success. Amazing. <laughs> That's exactly right. Look at that watch streak. Kefal is on a five... A five stream streak. Why didn't that... Why did that not show up on the... That didn't show up on the thing. Did not show up on the... Uh, on the... On the... This chat. Apparently. How you doing, Kefal? Welcome in. Welcome in. Sorry about being a bit uh, snivelly. I got a I got a bit of a not a runny nose, but a bit of a <laughs> hacker man. Oh, if He's only. the most powerful hacker of all time. If only I was the most powerful hacker of all time. Cause you're invisible. Ah, I see. I see. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's like uh, I have a little uh Got a little a little stuffy nose today, so I apologize for, for making weird uh, snivelly noises and, and, and shit. Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see here. It's... Whoa! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna scream because I also got a bit of a sore throat. Uh, but I will show you my mustache. Ah, oh, it's Red Eye. Thank you. Thank you for the mustache cam. There we go. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Hope you're struggling too much. Uh, the wall. Oh, we're gonna do the wall. We're gonna try the wall. We are. Look at the how high, high in percentage we have here. And how, hello, red eye. How are you doing? Thanks for the mustache cam. Uh, we're not struggling that much. It was just that the the guy in the apartment was boring, so I'm very bored now. <laughs> He's returned. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. No, I was like, because I I wanted to talk to the smoker on the balcony, right? And we went in there, and all of a sudden. Uh, all of a sudden, he fucking he, he leaves, and we have to talk to some kind of politician. And you know, if you talk to a politician, it's this fucking snooze fest. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's been it's today. I, I went out to have lunch with uh, with the 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 new job I'm starting. So I went out to have lunch with some of them. That's why I had to start the stream a bit early today as well. And it's it's negative eleven today. It was negative fourteen uh, this Friday, last Friday, Thursday maybe. And it's hovering around the negative tens. But yeah, it's very cool. So that's also why I have a, a little stuffy nose, I guess. Because I, I don't feel sick. I just feel runny nose. Stuffy nose, not runny. It's stuffy. Quite different. Do good? Work's been busy. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. You know, like, stream always comes second, you know. Uh, work and life always comes first, obviously. Obviously. Uh, we're going to check this wall out. Uh to see and uh, and also like uh, I said this when I started the stream I'll say it again uh, this week I'm going to stream today and I'm going to stream on Wednesday 
not on Friday because on Friday is when I start my new job. So obviously I'm, I can't stream my normal normal time because I'm I'm at work then. Uh, and then from from next week and onwards, the schedule is gonna change. I'm gonna gotta uh, change the schedule a bit. Uh, I will post post it on the Discord this week when I've decided how the new schedule what the new schedule looks like. Because uh, I'm not I'm not sure yet. But it's leaning towards two streams a week, and obviously in the evening instead of uh, midday. So it's gonna be like six o'clock to you know nine or ten o'clock in the evening, two times a week, uh, something like something like that. I haven't decided yet, but it, it's gonna look for, look like something, something like that. I will definitely post on the Discord and update all the things in the on the Twitch because uh, I still want to stream. It's just that you know having a uh, a proper job again uh, takes up more time. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try this wall. Never give up on the wall. Because yes! you see it. Finally! 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 This wall is sublime. Look at it. The shadows, <sighs> the colors. Oh, I am looking. Let the conceptual joy flow into your pupils and blossom into thoughts in your brain. All the other walls of oh. all the other houses must make a pilgrimage in adoration of mm. this. Mm. The uncontested pinnacle of war. This craft. is the best wall. Color peel from the very <laughs> wall, face of the wall of Warcraft. <laughs> That's, this is the world of Warcraft. Look at this wall. It is an amazing wall. We have conceptualized it now. More. Oh, wall father. Oh, we healed a, a morale that we didn't need to heal. Kim, I must paint this wall. Add even more beauty to it. Huh? He sounds tired of it all. Kim. Cindy the Skull has all the necessary materials. Okay. Talk to her. Yes. I must talk to Cindy. Get the necessary materials from her. If you must. Yes. We, were, we can probably do that tomorrow when Kim is fucking gone. Because he's probably going to be... Is this really the, the, the best way of spending your time? Yes. Oh, we can we can paint the wall. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk to Cindy tomorrow and, and paint this wall. Cause she's not here, right? No, she is here. Cindy, let's uh, talk to her. Hello first. again, officers. I need some paint. Have you come to admire my mural? No, I'm gonna make my own mural actually. Uh, I need your paint and your brush. What for? I'm doing a renovation. It's boring but necessary for my motor carriage. We're going undercover. <laughs> the apocalypse is coming. I need to warm for for art. It's for art. Well. If it's for art, yes. but what kind of art are we talking about? I don't know. What art? If, if I could paint a mural, what would it be? I think it would just be a big old mustache, right? Put a mustache on the building, so to speak. Because why should why should why should humans have all the fun with mustaches? Buildings deserve mustaches too. To be honest, I haven't really thought of anything yet, but I'm sure I will. Everything is sad and shit. And we need art to make it okay. Just give me the brush. Grand art. Art deluxe. The artsy est. The most groundbreaking. You know what? I haven't really thought of anything yet, but I sure I will. Then you have time to find your own fucking brush. Oh, come on. Don't crush a man's dream. <laughs> You'll see. You will all see and tremble. No, no problem. You know You're what? You're about to cry internally, aren't you, piggy? Mm. Pathetic. Just give up. Ah, isn't for you. Oh shit. We cannot retry this if we fail. Shit. We cannot. And we have eight in conceptualization. We have eight in conceptualization, and still it's a low chance? How is that even possible? How is that possible? Because it's an impossible role, that's why. That's why. Ah. Oh. Shit. Okay. I'll come back to you, because that's a red check. We can't retry it if we fail. We're not allowed to retry that one if we fail. I need the brush. But we can come back after we've leveled up and put some points into conceptualization. Okay, and we're going to try and sneak out of our room tonight to see if we can get the, the boots off the body. I want to get the boots off the body. Do you have anything to say f to me? It's you again. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. Do you have anything? Uh, can I talk to you about something? Found someone who saw the hanging. 
A witness. A witness? Mm -hmm. You ain't got shit. The locals would never come to you with this. That's mm. just cop tactics, Titus. Next, he's gonna tell you one of us already roll on the others. Shut, shut and the he's in witness protection. Sh 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 shut the fuck up, Alan. No one, no one likes you. <laughs> My witness is the local. Well, let's hear it then. We're not gonna tell Who you his is name. Your mystery We're not gonna tell you their name. He's not alarmed by the sudden appearance of a witness, but he is surprised. Yes. This goes without saying, but nonetheless, mm -hmm. don't give out his name. Exactly. Who he is is like re irrelevant. Copper's coming up with this on the spot. There is no witness. Oh, you better believe there's a witness. I've seen this shit a million times. And he's times, boring. <laughs> Fly fishing. They are desperate. Tell us, Copper. What wacky claims did he make? The witness said the hanging went down very quietly. No shouting, no shouting. No, no shouting, no commotion. The witness said he saw two people uh, of... Era pap okay, yes, exactly that, that thing. The witness said it all looked like a surreal play. Okay, very quietly. It's you assholes that feel the need to go around like a fucking brass band. The Hardy Boys are dead silent. Yes, exactly, and that's what uh, that's what we heard. So yeah, the, all it's like they put cowbells on you before. They're they not very smart, the are they? Like, if What's I have a witness, with the cowbells, policeman? if I have a witness that says that the hanging was very quiet they should turn up a ruckus and you know and say like like well it, then it can't be us because we're never silent instead he's just agreeing with it what an idiot they're avoiding having to answer this question uh imagine you guys drinking and singing lynching songs with the funeral silence we were drinking weren't we guys <laughs> we, we, we were bottle, drinking Lord. we I love being drunk, drunk. all right glenn Right, I'm convinced, Glenn. Nothing off here. Just a regular It's a regular hanging. drunken hanging. What do you guys do when you're drunk? Do you go out and lynch people? Heck, hell yeah. Uh, the witness said he saw two people of Eropagite descent and one mesk. Meske? Meske? Eropagite? <laughs> yes. Boss, I think he's trying to say me and Theo. Oh, okay. Sure. Well, yeah. What is confusing you? Eugene, Theo, and Elaine were there, too. I already told you. Yes. We were all there. Exactly. And it looked like a surreal play. That means absolutely nothing to me. Because you don't know the Sounds meaning like of the word surreal, is that it? Horse shit. Yeah, because he, he doesn't understand what the, the word surreal means. It means the whole scene was long and drawn out, like it was from a film. What is this fella's problem? <laughs> Sorry, we didn't make it more action-packed. Oh. It wasn't the first thing on our minds, you see? What was the first thing on your mind? Shanky. It's Shanky, right? Shanky. I thought there's something wrong about the Shanky. It's Shanky, now right? I know there was. Oh, hello, uh, uh, Gru Gru17. Hello there. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you? Sorry about me being a bit uh, sniffly. Snivelly. Got a little stuffy nose. And Santa's here too. Hello there, Santa. It's almost your time to shine. It's just uh, just a month away before you got us, or not even a month away. 20, 20 days, twenty days till Christmas. Ah, uh, welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, Santa's here. Santa Claus. God, Jesus, that broke off so badly. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna try and, and sing. Santa Claus is coming to stream in in the melody of Santa Claus is coming to town, and then my voice broke. <laughs> Santa Claus. Elves work. You should. You shouldn't make your elves work overtime. You have a whole year to prepare. Why are they working overtime? <laughs> Surely that's not necessary. If you have a whole year to prepare. You don't know shit. Shanky, stop it. I know. Oh, but welcome in. Shanky. Welcome into the both of you. How are you both doing? Hope you're doing well and welcome. Uh, like I said, I have a bit of a stuffy nose, so I apologize if I do do sound a bit snivelly and 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 uh, raspy. I guess. Less payment for a month than... A, I mean, that's true. That's true. It's just it's cheap. But also, like, uh, I guess e even with the overtime, it's way more cheaper. But yeah, may maybe higher than for two months, and then you don't have to pay overtime, because overtime is expensive as fuck. Overtime is also expensive. Um, and then also just better working conditions, you know? Better working conditions. You gotta love it. Great witness. He was a good witness. No, he, w he was a boring witness. Oh. 
He was such a boring witness. We talked to the guy was the fucking name, the politician, the 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 guy, and he was so boring, R really, really boring. So much bluster to hide the fact that they're uncomfortable with you having this info. Uh, uh, okay, right. We should listen. Oh, we should listen to the tape. Okay, we should listen to the tape. Then we should go to bed. Then we're gonna go outside and steal the boots of the dead man. And tomorrow we're gonna send Kim away. Uh, he's going to... Oh, alright. Uh, he's going to... The city. City folk. Can I ask you about the thing Can yet? I help you? Nope. I don't know if our game is broken. But there is a... There is a thing where we should... Uh, talk to... Where is it? Where is it? Yes, ask God if he knows how the victim's clothes got in the trash. And that dial, I've g gone through all of the dialogue option. It's not there. So I assume maybe something changes and I can talk to him later. After 1,752 years, it's time for a change. What's the change? What change are you gonna make? No presents for anyone. Locked. Okay. Let's see you in the morning. Sure. We're gonna compact listen to the tape. tape. Player is still and silent. Seems it has two months for an exactly. That, uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Two two months. Two months for, for work. Elves deserve two months work. <laughs> also, have, have Santa been around for seven thousand or one thousand seven hundred and fifty two years? I feel like Santa has not been around for one thousand seven hundred and fifty two years. I don't know when 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 did Santa first show up? I'm I'm not sure. The machine was made in Revachon by a company called Le Messier. Their logo depicts the triple tower Delta skyline. Oh. It was supposedly built to last. I mean, if it lasted through our partying, it's probably made it probably did a good job. Uh, what should I do now? Stereo eight player. A broken tape player doesn't have the ability to respond, but Kim would. If I don't want Kim to respond. Okay, how do I... Is this tape? Door Gunner Megamix. You stare at the great Door Gunner Megamix. If only you had a boombox. Well, we have this thing. You would be able to play Titus's tape. The tape feels ominous. Upon it, the dead speak. Respect the tape. I do respect the tape. Oh, if there's one thing I do, it's respecting the tape. The compact, the machine was broke. Okay, I'm not allowed to use the the thing. I I oh, I I I mean yeah, like I I I should have just asked you. You're you're right. I'm so I sorry. I'm sorry I didn't ask you in the beginning. I, instead, I sit here and like try to try to remember or try to think how old Santa is when you are here. And you, if you say you're 1,752, obviously. What a strange respect the tape. Okay, I mean yeah, that's sorry, that's true. That's not the whole game. It's just a strange. It's just a strange. Okay, Kim. Okay, Kim is fucked off. Good, good. We gotta sneak out and we're gonna steal the boots out of a dead man's a dead man's um, body. Kim has fucked off. Good. Can I help you? No, you cannot help me. No one can help me. Respect the tape. <laughs> it's just gonna <laughs> respect the tape, okay? Ah, uh, uh, I would, I would, I would Google it if I, if I, if I, if I, if I could. I can, I can Google it. I'm just too lazy to Google it. I'm just too lazy to Google. It. Hello, Kuno. I don't want to talk to you, so please don't talk to me. Here we go. The man is decomposing visibly now. Every hour. He looks We're less gonna like take a his boots and more like a pile of intestines. That is awful. The body is reluctant to let go of the boots, as though it were its last bit of dignity. You're going to need to summon all your strength of this undertaking. We're a strong boy. I, we're not a strong boy. Uh, we are a determined boy. Whoa! <laughs> Kuno's little sneak pig's back for the booty. Okay, this guy, this guy's the worst. This is the worst. God, I hate you, Kuno. Yeah, fuck it to pieces for us, liar cop. Start with the left boot. It feels like the leg is going to come off along with the boot. 
but you're able to oh. get the boot to move a centimeter or two. A centimeter or two. Okay, we have we have to do it like one at a time, right? We can't pull one boot. Because then the, the, I don't know why it doesn't does not make sense that the body would be ripped in half. <laughs> but but we need to pull on the right boot now. It's not completely useless. You're able to reveal a little Ooh. more of the putrid polymer. Maybe we'll see a dead man's ankle. Maybe we'll see a dead man's ankle and this will turn spicy. <laughs> you had to Google it? How old are you? What does Go How old does Google say you are? How old does Google... I'm, I'm going to assume you are around 600 years old or something like that. Like 1400s maybe? 1500s? Mm. Oh, is that what Google says? What? That can't be right. Is that... Or was it... Is it... it what? It, uh? Did, did he did he first appear 1752 or is he seven, 1752 years old that that's what uh me i'm gonna first mention of santa claus holy shit yeah i did not expect that yeah the, the story stretches all the way back to the 3rd century when St. Nicholas walked the earth. Holy fucking shit. I just... That's mind-blowing. That is insane. Wow. Wow. It was like... I, so, so mind-blowing that I didn't, that I didn't even... Uh, I, I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't grasp it. Even, even though you wrote it three times, I still couldn't accept it. That's mind-blowing. That's mind-blowing. I for sure did not think that he was mentioned, that St. Nicholas was mentioned in the 3rd century. That's crazy. That's crazy. Your game tag is Santa Jesus God. <laughs> I, I mean, sure, why Why not? Uh, Twitch don't like Jesus, okay. But, but Twitch loves Santa. Okay, sorry, uh... You're curious about what I'm doing. You didn't try to take the boots when you played it. Okay, so uh, I haven't played this game before. I'm just playing it uh, the first time. And we have, I try, I, like, I, I think when, when, when the body was hanging, when we first, when we first uh, witnessed the body, uh, we tried to pull off the boots. And, uh, you know, it said, like, oh, if, if you try to jank on the boots, you'll rip his legs off or something, because the body is so decomposed, it would just break off. And I think my, my just, you know, my, like, electrochemistry check or something, or my drama check, maybe, like, succeeded, like, the hidden checks that they do. And we got obsessed by taking the boots. So now, for example, we have a, <laughs> we have a task here, which is, like, uh, let's see where it is it's uh, getting the hanged man's boots in order to succeed one the body has to be down two autopsy has to be finished three kim has to be absent he wouldn't approve this would be devilishly tricky so don't beat up yourself if you don't if you manage to send the body to processing while not getting hold of the boots we are obsessed with getting the boots we need to get these boots <laughs> and of course we have done the autopsy and kim Kim just, he can't be here. We tried to get the, we, we tried to steal the boots when Kim was here. And he said like, no, don't, don't touch the boots. Uh, he, he just, he just won't allow us to. So we had to sneak off in the middle of the night here. And we're getting these boots. Even if it's the last thing we do, I want these boots. <laughs> okay. Pick up the body and try to shake the boots off. That's the worst idea. Step on the corpse as I... I pick up the body and shake. It's like shaking, shaking out the loose change, you know, bully uh, turning over a kid and shaking out the change from its pockets. Now we're going to try and twist the boots off one by one. This is the right method. Yes. It takes some time. Oh, we got the boots. Eventually, the boots come off with nasty slices of polymer sock oh. stuck to even bigger pieces of skin and rotting oh, flesh. Oh, that's awful, though. Look, he's skinning the fucker up good. Puko style. What does Puko mean? Uh, our, our, our resident Finnish, Finnish speakers. What does Puko mean? 
Well, I don't know if it's Finnish or Estonian yet. Uh, could be, could be, could be one or it could be both. It is an Estonian developed game, I believe. So, uh, but Puko. Help! Keep at it, pig. Uh, okay, we're we're gonna have to uh, take stock of the damage. What did we do to this poor poor guy? The legs look like they've been clawed at by oh. wild animals. Yeah, that's probably from As ripping. For the boots, you can't possibly do anything with them until you've cleaned and disinfected them thoroughly. That's what we're gonna do. Yes, these absolutely need to be yes. washed before. Yes. The stink is incredible. Okay, we need to we need to clean our boots. Didn't the whirling have a kitchen? Are we gonna clean them in a kitchen? This is not very. This is this is this is not. Are we gonna are we gonna shut down the kitchen? <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> Let's interact these with boots them. Were probably left on the corpse because they were impossible to pull well, off while it was hanging. Impossible, They're not exactly eh? pleasant to look at right now. Much less smell. Okay, don't smell the boots. Hopefully I mean, my my boots are, are not pleasant to smell to as well, very but, and I'm not even dead yet. I just have the worst uh, fucking stinky feet. Will I be? Will I ever be able to wear them? The size seems about right. Oh, good. Once you get the foul-smelling flesh gunk out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're gonna clean out the foul-smelling flesh gunk. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, these are like sabatons. Yeah, these are these are like. Armored boots. Uh, but I guess in the sort of modern sense, it's not it's not like an old knight's armor, it's modern armor, like the military would use. So it is armored, but it's not like medieval armor. So I guess it doesn't really look like old school sabatons, but they are like you know, they are armored boots, which is I presume the definition of sabaton. It's just what is a sabaton? It's an armored boot. I guess. Maybe maybe that's wrong. Maybe it's like you seem to Maybe it has to, to be, be a very specific naive. way to be a sub. Even if you don't remember it, you'll never know what it was like to be him. I'll never know what it's like to be him. Poor, poor. Yeah, but these these look like like the art style is a bit wonky, you know, the art style is a bit funky. But yeah, they, these look like they could be sabatons, like uh, a little they are modern ceramic armor, like, you know, armor going up the sort of thing. Yeah, yeah I, I can see that. I can see that. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Can, we can clean clean the boots in the kitchen. Can we clean the boots in the kitchen? Oh yeah, the chef is in here. Perfect. Ah, oh, we can boil the water and disinfect this it. This industrial gas-powered stove oh, has been used yeah. to prepare food for many hungry hostile guests. Are we gonna are are we gonna poison everyone? Is everyone gonna die because we we boil? dead man flesh in this pot and then tomorrow the chef's gonna come in and cook food for everyone in the same pot getting the corpse residue uh, out of these boots is going to require patience yeah we gotta and boil also a huge pot full of boiling water soap and white vinegar uh check out the a commercial pot draws your perfect. attention it's very large perfect gigantic even it could be used to make enough stew to feed an entire city. That is, that is and a, also to boil a putrid pair that's of a death boots. Big pot, but perfect for my death boots. Uh, check out the clean. There is device. a variety of soaps and bleaches perfect. in the cabinet perfect. to the left of the stove. We got it. There is also a bottle of white vinegar in the cabinet next to wow. the fridge. Wow. Okay. White wine vinegar, some salt in there, <laughs> some death gunk, and you got yourself a wonderful Christmas dinner. <laughs> it's bad with those boots. Don't be stingy now. Okay, soap. That's exactly what I need. Dish soaps. These boats are really disgusting. Poor dish. Yeah, we're, we're gonna put, you know, uh, soap, always good. And uh, vinegar uh, is also good. Kill, kills bacteria. Especially like uh, you know, uh, 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 baking powder and vinegar can, you can use for for a universal cleaning cleaning agent. So that's perfect. The delicious smell. We're doing of both. Cheap soap and vinegar waft up from the pot. Okay, we're wafting up. Delicious smell of soap and vinegar. That does not sound like it smells delicious to me. All right now, chef. Oh. Light up the stove and boil them. I mean, I was a chef. I was a chef. I like the 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 game is uh, acknowledging my. <laughs> <laughs> my 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 title. I am no longer a chef. Okay, add water and the boots to the pot. Bring it to a nice boil. The strong smell of vinegar forces you to step away from the pot. Mm. The water mm. slowly comes to a boil. Oh. 
Wonderful. Well, we just wait. of polymer fabric and human tissue. Can we just uh, let it boil overnight and go to bed? That would be smart. They float to the bubbling surface. Strips of polymer fabric and human tissue. Oh no! Wait, strips of polymer fabric. Oh no! Is the fabric gonna loosen so we can't wear the boots? I mean, we have to wait some more. The boots look cleaner and cleaner. Those bits of human flesh are beginning to look cooked. You can smell it too. Don't don't eat it. <laughs> Just like beef stew. Like a nice goulash soup. That's it, chef. <gasps> the boots are as clean as they're going to get. Steam, dense with the smell of strange meat, disappears we got into we got the boots. vent we got above boots. the stove. These boots are made for cooking. A pair of real beauties. The boots are shiny, hot, and reek of vinegar. Just perfect. Perfect. Master Chef, out! Mic drop. Or beef drop. <laughs> Oh, two authority. Look at these bad boys. Uh. Oh. And then. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, look at how beautiful we look. <laughs> okay, okay. We're not gonna go we're not gonna go all out here <laughs> but look at those boots uh we're gonna hide the boots though we don't want kim to see him we don't want kim to see him um so uh, i'm a mix between aladdin and the medieval that's exactly that's perfect that's exactly what i was going for glad to glad glad to see that he came across that way because that, that was exactly what i was going for i am i am uh the uh the um knight of the round the table names aladdin uh, okay, we also need to wash up. Uh, we, we needed to clean our hands. So before we go to bed, we're gonna we're gonna wash, if we can. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. Oh, so he can describe the smell. I was like, what, what is, is good with that? This is not the cleanest bathtub in the world, but it's clean. We did we did shove right our now. bare hands into the corpse earlier today, so we got a task that said clean our hands. Oh, oh. that soap scum smell. It smells like life, at least compared to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we smell like death. Uh, I want to live forever with corpse smell. No, I don't. Memento mori. That's um, that's Latin for remember you will die, I believe. If my Latin uh, doesn't fail me, I do, I do believe memento mori means remember you will die. Uh, we'll, we'll run ourselves a bath. The bathtub slowly fills with water. The water beckons. The water beckons. Couldn't we just have washed our hands in the in the tap that's that running? <laughs> the water is only lukewarm, but still comforting. Oh, I don't like actually like fluid. that. I, I don't a like taking a bath. I'm a shower. I'm a shower man. I I hate like sad, I duckies. hate taking baths. I I don't know why. I don't I don't I, I, they're they're so warm, and I don't like being warm, and I don't like being wet. <laughs> it's like I'm a cat. I'm just now realizing I'm a fucking cat. I hate being warm and I hate being cats like being warm though. So that's not but I don't like being wet. What other what animals don't don't like being warm? All animals like being warm, don't they? No, I do I do normal temperature showers. I do normal temperature showers. Like, you know, like uh, a bit over a bit over body temperature, like 30 38 degrees maybe, you know. It's like it's not not too bad. I, I like a, like a normal temperature shower, and I shower for I, I don't I shower for a, a, a normal time. I don't do long showers either. You know, some some people can fucking shower for like 20, 30 minutes. I go in, I take a five minute shower. You know, I get myself wet, I scrub myself with soap, I rinse myself off, I do my thing. I'm a clean boy. I like showering. I like being clean. I'm very clean. I, I'm like almost pedantically clean. But I don't like taking war long showers. I don't like being wet. You feel nice and lonely. Oh. <laughs> and so, so tired. But I do get that, like, I am the odd one out. People do like baths. I am I am the weird one. I don't like sauning, saunas either, which is a, a sin. I'm not Finnish. I'm not a Finnish. I'm a Swede. But it's still a sin. It would be worse if I was Finnish. That I would be lynched on the spot. Uh, but saunas is still a a a big Nordic 
thing. But the Finns have the trademark, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, uh, oh, you feel nice and lonely. We'll, we're going to take the beer cans out of the bath. Now we're gonna... you are alone with your thoughts yes. in the tub. But it's easier than being alone with your thoughts uh, outside the tub. Should we imagine something? Let's imagine something. You see the corpse. You can wow. still smell the cadaver on you. Yeah. It's going to take oh, more no. than one bath to get rid of that stench. Okay. Then, houses along a narrow street. A video rental. We need more, more than one Darkness bath. On the I don't like that. I guess we'll linger a bit longer. Your fingers grow pale and are Ooh. covered with tiny whirls as the water cools. We heal the health, which we couldn't heal because we are already on full health. What are you doing? You're not some fat fish in a <laughs> fucking aquarium. That's, this is, this is, that's what my life. brain says when I take a bath. What the fuck are you doing? You're not a fat fish in a fucking aquarium. Get the fuck out of this bath. And I get the out of the bath. The waterline recedes. <laughs> As you stand, you are cold now. Oh. Your clothes Ooh. stick to your still moist skin. Moist. Wonderful. Look at that. Just checking off fucking tasks left, right, and center. Uh, we should put... We can level up. We should put... We can't put more in physical instruments. What should we put our skills in? We have all of these physical instrument physical. That's because uh, we have a lot of physical instrument checks, which is why we should put it in there. But we can't. Not at the moment. Who is Tommy Leom? Empathy, formidable, electro. We uh, bird 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 nest Roy. I don't remember bird nest Roy. Racist lorry driver. We're kind of finished with that whole thing. We know about the drug trade and everything. Set of tracks. I don't remember any set of tracks. Box of sunglasses. Ooh, we can rummage through the box of sunglasses. Shippers. No to dice maker. And we're gonna save this point until we need it. Because I don't know what to I don't know what to do. Or rather, I don't know which one to. Oh, can we check the mirror? Do we want to check the mirror? I kind of like being our weird little face down here. The bed is still cold. Better not to check the mirror. And we're... not too inviting. We're gonna but lose the morale yours. if we look in the mirror. You've earned it. Cold from broken. Okay, uh, let's go to sleep. And tomorrow we're gonna send Kim away with the, the corpse. The bed is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken window. Oh. The mattress creaks as you close your eyes and try your hardest to fall asleep. Are we gonna have another vision? Are we gonna have Here we are again, my broken bird. The waves are coming. Oh shit. Carrying you away. <laughs> but you can't go. No. You have to stay always half aware of yourself. What? You're not cooperating, brother man. Brother man? No, it's bridge man. Sorry, uh, why? It's your disgusting body. It is disgusting, isn't it? Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. Mm. Your belly and your sides are unpleasantly tender. You wish you could curl up into a fetal ball of safety. Oh, love but that. But you cannot. Oh, no. Because... Of the pain. <laughs> just like in real life, my back pain is too much to curl into fetal position. No, I'm just, just kidding. It's not that bad. <laughs> and there's a lot of it, mm. ever present in your organs. It's like every one of them has their own nasty song to sing. Oh no, okay. That pain in your right side is your enlarged liver. <laughs> oh no, way. it's swollen. As for your kidneys, you've really been compounding. Yeah, we all, exactly. Pain. We gotta have our nightmares. I mean, is it nightmares or it's just, this is like, because it's our limbic system telling us, is it, I guess it's just, we are, we are, suffer, are we, are, is, is our character like suffering from some kind of schizophrenia or something where he's like hallucinating all of these, vo like parts of his brain talking to him, where it's like, you know, it's voices in his head talking to him, but it's part of, I'm not sure what's going on. But it is weird, and it is a bit spooky in a kind of interesting, morbid, you know, way. Uh, I like, I like this game. It's, it's a fucking fantastic game. But it is weird. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It is weird. But this suffering, it must have some kind of meaning. 
Yeah, so, like, some, something like it. Because I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what yourself. what you would what you would classify it as. Because you're like, I guess we are extremely like you know introspective, where we 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 uh, try to comprehend ourselves, but also like hearing the sort of voices feels like it's it's some kind of schizophrenia. Uh, because it doesn't, it's not a, like, a multiple personality thing. It's not, like, multiple p personalities. It's more like you're just hearing, hearing your brain talk to you in different, different areas. I don't know, it's hard. It's a, it's a weird one. It's an interesting one. It's a weird one. These are my, just my desserts. I will endure this pain with dignity. Wait, wasn't this the express to fuck Alborough? <laughs> that was something in the beginning. I can't remember what that was. I'm an artiste, and liver damage is my art. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Frame your suffering as a masterpiece. That was apparently Only a cop line. One problem. No one's watching. Oh no! It's boring, buddy. Boring as damn. How was that a cop line? <laughs> I got an achievement that said. Uh, tell, say five exactly, exactly. We got. I'm, I'm watching. The, 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 the chat is watching. We got people watching. Ancient reptilian brain. Don't worry about it. They're, they're watching. Even though it might be boring. <laughs> You're just stuck here. Hopefully it's not. In the half world. Uh. Could try looking at other people. Really looking. The half but world. why would you want to start doing that? I don't know. Just get me out of here. Back to the other place. I will. I'm looking at people all the time. I like them. Human beings will always betray you. I will. I look. I'm looking at people all the time. I like them. Sure you do. They're all so friendly. Not all of them. They? Not all of them. To be fair, there are a bunch of assholes out there as well. Most of the people I met in the game, I'm talking about the game, of course. Most of the people in the game are fucking assholes. Not gonna lie. At least they're interesting. Each one has a process just like you. Kuno is exactly. Kuno is a fucking asshole. asshole. I hate Kuno. God, I hate Kuno. Jeez, my hate for Kuno transcends the 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 fucking mortal plane. It's like, god damn it, <laughs> god damn it, I hate him. Now I'm. Pissed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, if I, I, I hope I don't have to talk to him ever again. I hope, I hope that now that the body is getting, getting transported out of here, we don't have to talk to him again. Oh. People are beautiful. Are they? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Parodies and tragedies sure. of themselves. A great like, like of physically, creatures. I don't think people are always beautiful, but you know, internally, like if you, if you look at, if you look at humans as a sort of, as a thing. They're pretty fucking cool. Humans are fucking cool. Also weird. I can't remember where it's from. It's from a show or a movie where they say, like, they joke about humans. And I was like, oh, look at me. My my pipe for breathing is right next to my pipe for eating. And that's like, that's, that's what I mean. Like, humans are weird like that. Like, it's so easy for us to choke. Why would they do that? <laughs> Why would they have a pipe for breathing next to the pipe of eating? What do you think you're doing right now? Who? Coming to some greater awareness. Well, hopefully. Look at all these lights blinking in and out of existence. It's, it's... Thoughts. You're just <laughs> pretending that you're asleep. Even to yourself. But isn't All that kind of how it is to fall asleep? Isn't that just how, what it is to fall asleep? You just, you just lie down and close your eyes and pretend that you are sleeping and then all of a sudden you are. Like, boom, now you're asleep. After a while. Or, I get, yeah. Let it. Let it. But it never seems to let you go, does it? Ooh. Time to rise and wipe that shining sweat off as best you can. Gather oh, your parents. We just took a bath and now we're sweaty rock again? And roll. Oh, fucking rock and roll, baby. Let's go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. We're waking up. I guess we are... We shouldn't be hungover anymore. It's been... This is day three. Like, 
I've been hung over for two days, but I've never been hung over for three days. <laughs> I I hope to God that he isn't hung over for three days. Uh, and also, I just we're just gonna take a super short super break because I, I really need to jump to the bathroom. I just gotta jump to the bathroom real quick. So we're gonna we're gonna take like a, a, a two minute break. Uh, like two to three minutes, pop off to the bathroom, stretch your legs, refill your water bottles or grab some snacks. Um, and I'll play a, a short ad in the meantime just to get rid of pre-rolls as well. Uh, so we don't have to, to worry about them when we come back. Uh, so we're going to take, like a, like I said, two or three minute break. And, uh, you know, so don't go anywhere. And if you do go somewhere, uh, make sure to be back in, in about three minutes. Uh, and I'll see you very soon. Wow, wow, we wow, we are back. Wonderful. Nice to just stretch your legs a bit. Gotta gotta do that as well. Get out, stretch your legs, and also go to the bathroom, refill the water bottle as as per usual. And we are in. Okay, so this is the day we've been waiting for. This is the day we've been waiting for. The day where Kim fucks off. <laughs> not not that we don't like him. I like him. Kim's a good. He's a good egg. But he is, uh, he is, sometimes he's like telling us what to do. And um, today is the day where he is, uh, he's gonna be, he's gonna go go away with the, uh, with the corpse. And we can sort of do, and we also, it is, it's also Wednesday, so we can go down south to the uh, fishing village or whatever it was. Uh, look for the cryptozoologist and, and all, all that. Uh, also do this. 
call Alice back in a day. That's time. That's what we're gonna do. Here we go. We can close this. That's today. And which means that the fish we can go to the fishing village. Uh, which means we can maybe find armor pieces. Okay, we have so yeah. So it, today's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, go get, go down. So good morning, came Before we send Kim away with the corpse, then we're gonna have to. Sorry about using can I your help. You all right about my bill? Twenty real. Let's pay it straight away. You got the room for me. Thank enough, you. But remember, you'll need another. I I know I know. We just pay the room straight away so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, talk to the chef. Maybe apologize for using his thing. Can we apologize the for using? The man oh. ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging your presence. Leo said you're friends with uh, Manana. Is that true? The mention of Manana gets his attention. He smiles and delivers a whole slew of unfamiliar words. All right, he does. Okay. Gestures. Right. Then. He falls but he, he okay, so he again. he seems to be uh, uh, like now that we said manana, he probably is like, oh yeah, I know, like he's happy, he's happy. Okay, what is that borscht you're making? The man says a couple of sentences in that strange language of his, and then seems to wait for you to speak. Shit, I'm pretty sure he asked you a question. Probably yes. He doesn't know your language. You can just say something. Cool <laughs> Mercury rising. Run your finger. What? Mercury rising. Uh, sorry, I don't. Uh, I think he asked, "Do you want some?" And I'm gonna say, "No." Hmm. Horse need more vodka. Okay, so it's vodka. Ah, it's vodka. okay, it's okay. So yeah, they're getting because we wanted to investigate the borscht. Something was up with it, and apparently, he's making the. They get drunk. Of course. Vodka. Vodka. Now that makes a very, very special borscht indeed. Turn it up and then ask for some yourself. No, we're not gonna. Stop it, electrochemistry. Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea. Honestly, the place is a powder keg. Nod and turn your fingers clockwise. Turn the vodka up. No, no, tur no vodka. Turn your fingers counterclockwise. Cut it. Uh, I'll leave the cooking to you. You know what? I'll leave the cooking to you. The cook gives you a long, inspecting look, then shrugs too, and seems to wait for the, you to speak. It's yeah, exactly, because we never checked, we never looked in the mirror in the beginning. You remember in the very beginning of the game, you can look in the mirror. So this is your portrait before you look in the mirror, and I was, I didn't want to look in your mirror. I did not want to look in the mirror, because he is like, he said like. You know, oh, if I look in the mirror, I don't know if I'll recognize my face and whatever, whatever. So we never looked in the mirror, and we ha we still haven't done it. So we don't know what we look like. Our our guy doesn't know what we look like. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so your portrait is is a shadow until until you look in the mirror. And uh, I assume that's what because uh, you know we that's that's the only thing I I I can understand is like we haven't looked in the mirror, so our character actually don't know what we look like. So we don't have a portrait. Okay, so. We now know what's so special, the cook and the world. But we know the special. Why did it that? Why did that not? The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you the man's. Okay. I'm sure you, he doesn't know your language. You can shake. Yeah, okay. we know. So it's okay. Of course, turning it up. Okay. Seems like a cut. It. Okay, so I, I needed to do that. <laughs> Disappointed look. <laughs> Shit. Then turns the stove off. But we seems to okay. Wait for you to speak. So I needed to do that thing in order for. Oh, is that? Okay, hold up. So, it didn't give me the success unless I chose one of those. Is that the same with this guy then? That it doesn't give me the success Can until I... Because we still need to ask this guy who dumped the clothes in the trash bin. And it, ha it, it, can't it doesn't tick it off. Another thing. Great. I love those. Uh, oh, right. We know she nicked the phone line. Why? Uh, no, fuck it. I don't want to know. Okay. I don't want to know why these degenerates do what they do. I thought we had one good guest in the building. Uh, I bet you didn't want it to be here. Well, anyways, mystery solved. I don't like loose ends. <laughs> it's, it's kind of what, that's exactly what I'm doing here. I hate having a lot of tasks. So we're trying to get rid of as many of them as possible. Uh, you have Lena. Lena's a good customer. Yeah, well, she's not a guest, is she? Isn't she? What? Did someone mention my name? Is she not a... 
Is she not a, cust a guest? Uh, we were just paying you a compliment and finding out her degenerate from room three nicked the phone line. Everything is okay here. <laughs> Good thing that guest pays for her stuff on time. Okay. I'll forward her the bill and be done with it. Okay, Was there okay. anything else? Um... There's something else? Yes. About my bill? No? Another okay. Thing. Great. What are you, a cook now? Uh, That's not... No, you don't. Uh, how do you if know? You okay. Besides, they are... You We're just gonna click through the options here, because we already talked about... For Samaran boxing. Oh, yes, that door. No, I... Awesome. He's attempting to maintain... Okay, we have already gone through so this. I haven't so, opened. you see? I have Sorry. cleaned the whole place a hundred times. Yes. There is no... There is no check for... <laughs> For asking him how the victim's clothes got in the trash. We can't ask him how the victim's... There is no check for it. Shit, I hate that. It's gonna break my uh, break my little, uh, my little pedantic brain. Uh, we cannot ask him about that. Inside, you see a set of steering wheels. Okay, we're gonna, now we're gonna... A, microphone, a pull-out toolbox and... The soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Yes. I assume Kim is gonna take this car to the city or whatever, where he's gonna leave the the the, the corpse for processing. So we're gonna use the car first and talk to the dispatch about the um, the the uh, armor thingy. This is precinct fifty seven. How may I assist you? Uh please connect me to Sylvie again. Just a second, I'll be there. Didn't someone mention her name? Be my like on the line for you, officer. Thank you. Yes. Hello. I am the law. <laughs> oh great. What else do you need, detective? Ask Gart if he know knows how the victim's clothes got in the trash. Do you know who put the victim's clothes? In? I just had to make sure that I was reading that right. Is it a typo? Is the game supposed to say, ask Sylvie who put the victim's clothes in the trash? No, I don't know. It wasn't me. I haven't been out there since. I was terrified of the stench and, and the corpse. Uh, okay. Test collages. Was it you called the police? No, not me. Okay. Did it, did it, okay. What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the court. What does this Union have to do with anything? I meant us. You should have called the police. Uh, uh, what does this Union have to do with anything? No one calls the police. Okay. The Union would get angry. Oh. The Union will get angry. We're learning stuff here. I thought it was just that nobody wants to, wanted to. Fell sneeze coming. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, that tickled. I thought it was just that nobody wanted to talk to the police. Apparently, the union will get angry if you talk to the police. What do you mean by that? You know, what the union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. I am the law. Uh, tell me ex why exactly did you let a corpse hang in your backyard for weeks instead of calling us? Uh, looks like there's a limit to my authority. I am the authority. No, looks like there's a limit to my authority mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. Tell me, why exactly did you leave a corpse hanging in their backyard instead of calling us? I... I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. Oh, I don't want to push her further, but she actually might... I, 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 I feel bad for her, but I... I, I kind of need answers, you know? You ignore the law to save your own skin. What others? The other people who live around here. Local people. I... I didn't want trouble. What trouble? You don't live here. No. You don't understand. Squealing is frowned upon Okay. Here. Everything is dealt with, well, by the union, internally. Oh, so the... <laughs> if, you, if you call the police, the union are gonna... They gotta come for you. They're gonna beat you up. Or please, kill you. I just didn't want any trouble. Uh, I see. Don't worry about it. I understand. Sorry. You okay. do? Yeah. Sure. Oh, what else can I do for you? Uh, yeah, go on. Do you know how my paperwork ended up in the trash container behind the whirling? Well, you try 
tried to jam it down the toilet, sir. Oh. Clogging it completely. Oh. After I had unclogged the toilet and retrieved the paperwork, I threw it out in the trash, thinking you didn't need it. It makes sense now. Why? Okay, so, yeah, the game... She she worked at the whirling. She was... Right, it, it's all coming back now. Why did why did it say ask guard? I am sorry about that. Anything else, detective? No, I think everything I got... Please, <laughs> thank you. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Reconnect me to the 41st. Right. Please. Maybe now we can ask guard. Fireworker, over. Uh, oh. Roger that. Ten ten, over and out. Oh wait. Uh. This is precinct fifty-seven. How may I assist you? Here we go. Armor, armor. Sorry, sir. I still haven't heard back from the database people. But try calling again later. Is there anything else I can do for you? Shit. Okay, sir. So Oh, so, oh shit. We need to call her later, I believe. That's 10. Oh fuck, that was so late. Uh, okay. Calling later. How much later? How much later, uh, lady? Shit. Because, like I said, if I, if I send Kim away, I think he takes the car. I think he takes the car, don't he? I guess we're waiting like an hour. Another thing. Great. I love. Yes. Still no, uh. Still no guard. Shit. Shit. Who are you? Hey! Are you the. Hi, Gendarme. Another rendezvous. Yeah! It is you. You're here. I am. So are you. Oh. What brings you here? Uh, what are you doing? Tell me, Ben, about that muscular type who came to investigate the crime. I met your Sunday friend. You did? Yeah. And how did you like him? He was weird. I, he was boring. I didn't. He's a government official. I don't trust governments. Uh, I didn't like him as much as, uh, as I like him. I'm not going to hit on the guy. <laughs> I know That's what the game wants me to do. And, you know, I, I, just, don't, I just don't like you that way. I, you're cool and all, but you need to button up your shirt. Uh, if you want me to like you, mister, you got to button up your shirt. You were right, he's magical, magically I didn't. Oh shoot. <laughs> Why not? He's boring. Uh <laughs> who is he? What are you, you two? Why was he staying at your place in the middle of the night? I don't want to talk about other people, I want to talk about you. Who is he? A visitor from the first world. Oh. He's not like you and me, Gendarme. He can always return. Return where? To his opportunities in Occident, Sir Leclay. Hmm. Still. Hmm. His coming and going brings some life to the village. Sure. Or is it just money? I don't know. Maybe both. Uh, what are you two? Friends, I told you. Okay. Sunday friends. Friends who like to get together from time to time. <laughs> what do you mean a Sunday friend? <sighs> that he won't be there when times get tough, I guess. Is that even a friend? It is. Okay. On Sundays. Oh, hor, hor, hor. Uh, why was he staying at your place in the middle of the night? He has keys. And he likes the view. Yeah, he said so. Sea, I mean. Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe he likes the view, if you know what I mean. I don't want to talk about the other people. I want to talk about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about me, Gendarme? Uh, I don't know. What are you doing here? Admiring the atmosphere. Okay. What about you, officer? Uh, I live here. My room is up right upstairs. Convenient. Yes. But what are you doing here? Talking to me. Uh, Tell me about the muscular type who came to investigate the crime. Oh, yes. Let's see. Mm-hmm. He knocked on my door a few days after the lynching. Okay. I think he was going through the entire building, asking questions. Uh, what did he look like? Muscular, handsome, strong, like one of those military types. Okay, did he have any identifying traits? Oh, uh, let me think. He had an accent. Ooh. He sounded like one of those mercenaries. Ah, okay. He sounded vaguely Oranese. No, not vaguely, scratch that. Okay. He sounded definitely Oranese. So he, he's probably one of the mercenaries. Okay, was he alone? Muscular. Oh, shit. Was and he alone? Yes, but he was speaking to someone on his earpiece. Ooh, what was he saying? Just reporting back whatever I was telling him. Okay. What did you tell him? Nothing. That I didn't see anything. And he believed you? Why shouldn't he? I don't know. Did you tell him about your friend? What friend? Your Sunday friend. <laughs> no. I don't think it came up. Okay, sure. thanks. Anything else on your mind? <sighs> we'll, we'll try it. It's gonna fail, but we'll try it. <sighs> 
Could he be a critical member success? Of the homosexual <laughs> underground. Holy shit, we succeeded! Critical success! Yes, this man is definitely okay. one of the homos. <laughs> I've seen them homos with my own. We're eyes. not gonna listen to our physical. That's our. That's a bully with it. See what physical instruments want to bully people. Just pointing it out. We're not talking about some kind of cult with members here. Oh, would you imagine? You made it up. Ah, oh, a, a cult. I, I, I'm not bringing it up. Let it go. We're, are we actually gonna ask him that? <laughs> I mean, let's ask him. It's the homosexual underground? <laughs> yes, the cult. Why, yes, I am, officer. Why? Do you want to investigate? Uh, just wanted to know whether you were well, I part of the cult. One of, them. one of the Sub Rosa pleasure group congregating in cellars under the cover of night. I hope Saturday this is true. I hope. Sometimes even Friday night. What about Sunday and your Sunday? <laughs> what about Thursday night? Uh, uh, why do you convene? What do you do? Yeah, what? Oh, we're ambitious. We want to destroy the last vestiges of me. I see. The last things people in Reva Show have to hold on to. The true symbols. Of I'm just going to assume that he's being uh, sarcastic with us because uh, that makes sense. Their marriage. Everything will be constantly shifting and moving under our rule. The future will belong to a circus of identities just spinning around, surreal and unreal. <laughs> Does it have anything you to do? You won't even know who oh. you are anymore. Does that have anything to do with disco? Yes, we listen to a lot of disco. Nice, me too. Some say we engineered disco to spread our vision of a vertiginous, ever changing society. Where all there is, is a razzle-dazzle of gold. Well, did you? We are going to change the family unit with all this razzmatazz and <laughs> Not <dancing>. much fun. <laughs> and with mysteries. Of course, the mysteries are also of sexual nature. Very esoteric. Okay, that's that's a, that much fun should be illegal. Nah, this is not me. Sure thing, officer. What do you want to know next? Oh, we got a... Homosexual underground. You see mysterious strangers in the night, leaning against unlit doorways, engaged in hushed conversation. A shadowy cable exchanging a look, whispering in dark alleys and unmarked locales. A, ra a radical cell firing. Okay, so it's like... Also, there's no... 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 Oh, should we... should we internalize this thought? Oh, we need to... well, we have a... Yeah, we have a skill point. Let's unlock one. Let's let's uh, let's uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's internalize the homosexual underground. Why not? That sounds fun. <laughs> bye bye, Jean uh, Bye bye. Thank you for your help and whatnot. I'm not gonna talk to these guys. Okay, it's eight o'clock now. Let's uh, let's see if uh, let's see if we need to. Oh, first of all, uh, he oh Kim is very blurry. Why are you so blurry? What's up with the? Can we talk to you again? It's a new day, after all. Am I allowed to speak to you again? Looking for something odd? Uh, Can you tell me to fuck off again? I wish I could tell you to fuck off again. Uh, it's not the most popular topic nowadays. Uh, I'm not. People who've studied these things say that you and me are superior. Okay, so, we've already spoken to him. Cultural victory. Say nothing. Also, okay, whatever. Kids, not a lot of moral right, fun. I'm going. Okay, so that was the, just the same. Not, nothing new. It's just... Okay. Were you the one... So he said the big muscular guy was uh, going around asking questions after right the lynching. To work. Right to work. And we can't... Okay. Sure. Nothing new. We kind of... We know that this is the... He's a mercenary. He didn't have anything to say, though. Shit. And we also need to make... Uh, 20 bucks today. We have eight. Shoot, that's not Inside, enough. You see a set of steering. I guess we can. We can make microphone. twenty bucks tomorrow as well. This is precinct fifty-seven. How yeah. may I assist? Still no word. I'm afraid, sir. Fuck. I know it must be frustrating. Yeah, it is. Was there anything at you? Fifty-seven. Still no cabin. word. Word. Shoot. You dangus. Okay, I guess Kim can hang out with us for a while. Uh, before we get word... Oh, right, we need to check the sunglasses thing. Before we get word, Kim can hang Shine out with us. Shine on these sunglasses lasts a lifetime, officer. 100% guarantee. Oh, I want that amphibian sports visor. That's amazing. Okay, let's uh, do this now. No, oh my fucking god, how did we fail? <laughs> Lime-colored cellophane visor. Produced by a bargain sportswear brand. Uh, 
That visor is spark. You don't like it? Shit. How did we fail that one? It was such a... Uh, now we have to come back here again. <laughs> that was a sleeping dock worker. Where was the sleeping dock worker? Was he over here? Uh, I can't remember all of these checks, but there was a sleeping dock worker over here, wasn't it? Uh, might as well try it. This is, is it the guy? Are you the guy? Are you the sleeping dock worker? No. Were you the sleeping dock worker down here somewhere? No? Huh. Uh, okay. Well, I thought he was there. Well, well, well. Let us then go down to the thing. Was it here? Where are you? Oh my god! There's a lot of... A bunch of people here. A rusting control panel with loose... He grabbed the handle and pulled the lever up. Ooh. As soon as the metal connects against the contact pins, you hear a loud clunk. Clunk. Then the lock starts moving. Wonderful. Wonderful. We can make it over there today. Oh. Progress. What's up? What's a fancy water lock? All right. We can go to the coast now. Mm -hmm. Expect rugged terrain. Rugged and terrain and drunks. And if you wanted to forge that document for Evra. All right. Now you can. Perfect. Right. Uh, let's forge the document. Uh, was it? Yes. You take the legal documents out of the envelope. Oh my God. A 12 to 40 month construction period ah. and the zoning plan. Okay, so we. The addendum. Okay, so we, we are gonna we are gonna forge it, but not when people are watching. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Oh my god, new oh loose change. Take it all. Radio relay hums with electricity. What's this? A breaker box. Uh, children play on them. Okay. Is there anything here? What about over here? Just gonna have to make sure we look around. Like this. We don't want to miss this. What's all this then? Some kind of... Traffic... More abandoned lorries. Okay. Ooh, that's good. Oh my, that's some cool glasses that we're not gonna wear. wear. No entry. Okay. Cannot go in there. Shit. Uh, well, down this way then, I, I guess. Oopa. And then this way? What do we have here? So it's broken down the fence. Shit. Okay. Well, is this the fishing village? The swing is missing. No one's been here for a long time. Birds in the birch tree. Barely audible from the... Oh, shit. Uh, oh, hello there, Jojo Shiwa. Uh, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, I am loving this game so far. I am loving this game so far. Uh... It is wonderful and at points hilarious and sometimes uh, morbid and weird. <gasps> is that a the smallest church in church church the smallest church in Saint 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 I can't say that. Love all of those things. Exactly. That's exactly like what does a perfect game need? It needs <laughs> more morbid dark humor and. Um, a lot of thinking, I guess. A lot of investigation. I like. I like that. Is this a sad song? I guess we should. We should interact with this. There's no way to listen to the tape oh. without a working tape player or. Portal if this is a sad song, we can sing karaoke. 
But even just holding the tape makes you feel a little sad. This is a sad song. This is a sad song. A pawn shop. A pawn shop would have a tape player. Right. Or a karaoke bar. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, shit. Uh, okay, we have uh, because we have the sing karaoke thing, right? Sing karaoke. Get a hold of a sad song on tape. Maybe we need to listen to it first to make sure it's a sad song. We we don't take any chances here. If we're gonna if we're gonna do a sad song, fuck you. Yeah, we don't we don't take any chances. Uh, ooh, what is this? What is this? Glory says the graffito to the ghost of us. All right, so we are on day three. Today we're gonna get rid of Kim. He's gonna go to the big city or whatever he goes. He's gonna take the uh, the corpse. Uh, we got the corpse down from the tree. He's gonna take it today, because we have stolen the boots from the corpse. What happens if we put on the boots? We didn't want to put on the boots when Kim was around, because he was like, "Did you steal the the, the boots?" You look down at the white ceramic sabatons hugging your arches and calves. Ooh. Surprised at how oh, well they fit. They look amazing. Your movements cause tiny little clicks. Really? Like dice rolling somewhere far away. <laughs> as the plates reorient to your motion. Oh, I love these. Uh, I will be responsible with this. This is just to protect me from harm, not to show off. Decked out in future armor like a cop ought to be. hardened, vitreous enamel at once sleek and light. Adds a glow to your cheeks and a spring to your skin. I mean, yeah. Just you, you can see, you can see by my by my face. I am happy with you. this. I am happy with these little 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 sabatons. Uh, I want the full suit. This gear could line my pockets with cash. I should probably sell it to some other cops. This is the long sought after enemy technology. I can't just enjoy it. I must study it. I want the full suit. It may be a while before you have all the pieces. Oh, I have in the meantime, all the time in the world. You should analyze the armor. Figure out its vulnerabilities. It doesn't have any vulnerabilities. Remember, this is a highly specialized oh my God. genetic redistributor okay. meant to stop bullets. Okay. Wear it. Observe its properties. See if there's a weakness in the design. Okay. For the day you have to fight someone covered in the same material. Ah, that's true. That's true. That's smart. Maybe, maybe someday we'll, we'll have to find the other mercenaries. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, I love the the voice, especially the voice acting for the our thoughts. It's very. I mean, all the voice acting is really good. All the voice acting in this game is really good, but especially the the thought ones. The, the voice is just so good. Uh, we are. Uh, can we stop internalizing this and uh, instead uh, inter? Yes. Okay. I think I want to inter internalize this one more than the homosexual underground, but I also want to do the homosexual underground. I think I think I want to start with this one because we literally just started this one, so we can come back to it. We're gonna internalize the uh, the armor instead, uh, and then we can we can do the homosexual underground later. <laughs> oh, you never you never first you never played this game. Oh, you should you should. It is so good. Uh, yeah, so you can see these are all the skills. Uh, my stupid face is covering some of them. But the visual calculus, uh, as you can see here, uh, visual calculus versus you not only in the laws of the state, but the laws of nature. Enables you to create virtual crime scene models in your mind's eye. Uh, so it's like, you know, being able to work out stuff, I guess. Uh, just, you know, using logic to work out stuff, uh, and sort of here. So, so you'll, you'll see how a bullet shattered the glass and from that trace the trajectory. So you can sort of imagine like, oh, the bullet came from the window and then it scattered. So the glass should be here, whatever, whatever. And then you have all of, all of these, all of these things. Uh, and then you, of course you put points in them. So we put a lot of points in the encyclopedia in the beginning. That's our like, so we, we, we know a, a lot of, um, uh, Worthless trivia, I guess, is the is the best way to describe it. Uh, which is so cool, uh, and I love that. So yeah, this is it's a lot of skills. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six times four skills. So that's what's that? Thirty-six? No, twenty-four. No, yes, twenty-four. <laughs> uh, my visual calculus is not good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's it's just so good. It's just so good. This game is is fantastic. Rust peels off the bent iron posts of the swing. The wind whistles through the skeleton of the small house behind you. There's desolation everywhere. Oh, what happened here? In this yard? 
Exactly, if you're not... I, I am... But but to be fair, I don't usually like games where I have to read a lot. But this game is just fantastic. Uh, oh, that's that's all right. If you have any more questions, I, I'm happy to answer them. But uh, like, uh, but if you if you think about playing this game, uh, you know, it's a. Uh, I, I, I will of course try not to spoil anything, but it is so fucking good. Yeah, and and everything is voice acted. On almost everything is voice acted. So all all the, all the dialogue is voice acted. So for example, when he says in this yard, and then. No one voice acts. The lieutenant looks at the small building. A flock of gray swallows takes off in the distance. You have to read that one yourself. But it is it is like a very dialogue and uh, narration heavy game. So it's not not a lot of uh, like action gameplay. It's very much talking and figuring shit out. That's the best thing. You actually have to think a bit and and come up with conclusions. He's assessing the situation. How long ago <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. That is true. But I just uh, it always always feels nice to to give a fair warning that you know, because we are. I don't exactly know how far into the game we are, and I I don't want to know, but we are, you know, somewhat far in. We have solved uh, a fair amount of things. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how spoiler. It's my first playthrough. I've never played the game before. This is my first playthrough, but I don't I don't actually know how far in we are. Uh, but we have solved some things. We have we have gotten quite far. How long ago was it abandoned? Someone oh. thought they oh. could have a summer house in a block of Thank you, Jojo Shiwa. That is very kind of you. Thank you for, for following. I, I appreciate that a bunch. And also, like, uh, we play... Right now, we are playing Disco Elysium. It's our first playthrough of that. And uh, other than that, I, I'm a variety streamer. So I, I play a lot of weird games uh, and uh, fun games. So we are also playing... We are also playing Twilight Princess, having a bit of a nostalgia kickback to to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. That's our other game that we're playing at, at the at the moment. But it, it's a variety stream. We play a lot of fun games, and mostly we're here to have fun and chat. And I'm glad to hear you're enjoying your time so far. But that that warms my heart. That's 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 why we're here. That's why we're here to enjoy our time together. And wait, what did you say? <laughs> and this is, this is why it's probably not the best stream game. It is a very good game to stream, but uh, yeah, I, I I am atrocious at, at keeping focus. <laughs> so it's like now it's like, what did he say? Uh, someone thought they could have a summer house in a block obscure for sheep. Didn't work out. They abandoned it. They, okay, so someone abandoned it ten years ago. This house. They wanted a little summer house. So what's a block? Is that a, 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 So it's part of the coast. Practically, it's not an official term in any way. But look around. No sewage, broken power lines, crime, drugs. <laughs> I don't see a lot of crime or drugs. Is, to be fair, it's uh, no place to build a summer house. No. Okay. At least they left some old music behind. <laughs> yep. Yes. Tap on and the tape. You that because you're a post-apocalyptic scavenger who collects trash and magnesium. That's exactly what. Speaking of post-apocalyptic scavengers, I saw that there was a teaser trailer out for the Fallout series now, and I am my my hopes are up, even though they shouldn't be, because uh, you know, given Amazon Prime's records, you know, with <coughs> uh, rings of power, <coughs> uh, I don't know what to expect, but. The trailer or the teaser looked pretty good. The teaser looked pretty good. It's not meant as nagging, just. Uh, an and I am excited. And also, fucking uh, the other one, boom. What's it called? House of the Dragon season two. I am excited for that one because season one was fantastic. I just hope that season two can uh, live up to the expectations, and I think it will. I have no doubts about it. Oh, I'm excited. A lot, a lot of good things coming. We should move. I don't think we will solve the murder with forays into the urban hinterland. Uh, at least in this phase of the all investigation. Right. Yeah, we're... What series? Uh, House of the Dragon and Fallout. Uh, so, you know, the Fallout games, they're, they're making a... They're making a, um, a, a, a television series of it. And, uh, or Amazon is making a series. It looks, it looks good, but, you know, it could... could, could because it's a completely new one, I don't know what to expect. I hope I hope it's good. I love the Fallout universe. Uh, we played Fallout 4 recently on stream. We finished it off. Uh, and then, all, of course, House of the Dragon is the Game of Thrones uh, sort of prequel, spin-off, whatever you want to say. Uh, it's set in the Game of Thrones universe. It's really, really good. Really, really good. 
Uh, oh shit. Uh, okay, so... But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't watch a lot of television series, uh, but I'm very excited for those two. There's a boat tucked away. Yeah, I could... Yeah, I could, I, could, I could have imagined. There's a boat. Is this another... Oh shit, okay, this is an interior one. Uh, yeah, I th I, exactly. I, but I also got some 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 mad Fallout One vibes because uh, I played all of the Fallout games, and uh, in Fallout One they uh, set you out to look for a broken water ship, not a ship, a, a chip, like a, a a little computer chip, um, and it felt like it's it felt like yeah, gotta go and watch the trailer, gotta go and watch the trailer. It looks pretty good, but it felt like because uh, uh, there is like inside a full vault, and everyone seems to be. The vault seems to be functioning like a normal vault, and uh, that's kind of Fallout One-ish, where they the water ship breaks down, so they uh, uh, they need a new one, so they send out one to to look for a new one. I think this is gonna be an original series. I don't think it's actually gonna, you know. Oh, a bonot! Look at that! We're gonna wear this. I think it's gonna be like an or original story. It's not gonna be like adapting Fallout Three or Fallout Four. It's probably gonna be its own. It's own unique thing. Uh, I hope that's the case, at least. Oh, we're, we're taking the bow tie. Holy shit. We are starting to look amazing. Oh, we're not wearing glasses. Why are we not wearing glasses? Which glass? Which glasses should we wear? Should we wear the... Should we wear the... Uh, I like these ones. I like these ones with the flip... The flip ups. <laughs> I would love a pair of those in real life. I would love a pair of those, those in real life. I spent money, I spent good money on getting it because uh, I, I, I don't have awful, awful vision, but I have fairly bad vision. So I actually spent money on, on sunglasses with uh, with strength in it so I can actually see with sunglasses on because I'm also very light sensitive. But having some flip downs would be the perfect solution. Oh, right, yeah, that's why, that's why. I keep all coming in with the answers here, that's why. Yeah, uh, probably because they had minus one authority. That's you're right, we needed to uh, we needed to show our authority to Titus. That's what, that's what we wanted. We needed to show authority to Titus, and uh, it gives negative one authority. That's why. It looked like uh, Los Angeles, right? With the, it had the, the pier. What's it called, the, the LA pier? The, 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 the pier? The, the, the pier? I think it's gonna be Los Angeles, California. I think it's gonna be California, and that's also why it's like it could be, could be Fallout One sort of inspired because that was Fallout One was set in that sort of area, the sort of California, Nevada, uh, sort of there around there. I don't know exactly remember where, but so, so I, I think it's gonna be Los Angeles. I think. I could be wrong. There, there are other, there are cities with piers. There are more, more cities than Los Angeles with piers, I assume. But he had the, the Santa, Santa Monica pier. Is that what it's called? I think that was it. I think that was it in the trailer. But I'm not sure. Uh, sounds like life in the north. Um, okay, let's. Oh shit! I can't do that. <laughs> I, I pr keep pressing the steam overlay because I'm, uh, I'm using the tank controls because I'm an old fart that likes ca tank controls. Uh, instead of using my mouth. Cinder blocks. Charred. I make shit fire pit. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 my hopes are up. Which they, they shouldn't be. Because that's the same. I'm, I'm a massive Lord of the Rings nerd. Massive, massive Lord of the Rings nerd. And then when Rings of Power was... Oh. Look at these. And then when Rings of Powers came out, it was like, oh, oh, this isn't, this isn't fun. This is not fun. Uh, so then it, my, my, my dreams and hopes were broken. Kingdom of Conscience. Is that a thing we have here? No? What does that mean? What does that mean? Plus one to... Oh, is that, a, is that actually a skill we have? No. What does that mean? Plus one to Kingdom of Conscience. I mean, I like the pants. I like those pants. We actually, we're starting to look good. Like, we're starting to look pretty fucking good, not gonna lie. We're not a bum anymore. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping good good things for the Fallout. Good things for the Fallout. It's good that they have, like, say what you will about Bethesda and Todd Howard, am I right? 
but they have Todd Howard as a sort of uh, advisory slash executive producer, which means that it will at least be true to the Fallout universe, and I like that. So that that bodes well for the series. Mm. These are some wonderfully regular pants. <laughs> not too tight. Not but yeah, you can you can tell that I'm a big little sense. Fallout fan because I have some right posters. I got got dog meat with the with the with the with the the things and the and the scarf. <laughs> got like. A little power armor dude here, uh, so I am a big, big Fallout nerd. Uh, I like Fallout, and I like the Elder Scrolls. So you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nerd when it comes to that. So I, I my hopes are up. My hopes are up. I hope it's gonna be good. Uh, mm, these are some wonderful regular pants. Not too tight, not too loose. Moderate in every sense. You'll blend right in at some pleasant dinner party. That's exactly what I want. Haven't played a Fallout game since Fallout 3. Exa oh, I Fallout 3 is probably my my favorite one. Not because it's the best one. Oh no, actually, my favorite one is Fallout 2. I gotta I retract that. My favorite one is Fallout 2, but the one I played the most is Fallout 3. Because I, you know, I was uh, how old was I when Fallout 3 came out? 2008. How old was I then? Teenager. I'm, I was a teenager at least, so it was perfect because that's when like the my gaming levels were were peaked. So I played a lot of Fallout Three. Uh, it wasn't the main theme in Fallout in the trailer. Yeah, I hope I hope because the main theme is the you know, do the the perfect one. But I like that at the at the sort of uh, towards the end they did have the exactly they have the sort of little little. Uh, 50s swing or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that was that was pretty good because that's what I was missing like when the trailer started I was like are they not gonna have like, you know so, Some some Bing Cosby or something. It's like what, what's gonna what's, what's going on here? And then after it came it's like ah oh, perfect there there it was there it was but yeah the the main main music in uh, Bethesda just does a, does a good game. I haven't heard the, I haven't heard the Starfield one The main song I haven't played Starfield yet but I haven't heard the song, but I know, like, uh, for example, you know, the Elder Scrolls theme song is very good, especially the Morrowind edition. It's amazing. That's the, my favorite one. But I also like the, the piano in, in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. It's very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, but ho hopefully, maybe they... Maybe, I hope they're gonna bring it in the... bring it in with, in the in the in the show. I hope so. I like regular normal things. I do like regular normal mm -hmm. things. I know you do. Uh, but yeah, These very excited about those. Pants, like uh, very excited about those shows. Like I said, I don't watch a lot of <laughs> a lot of television shows, no but those. Mm -mm. The moral intern on you like this. 2024 That's is going to be a good year for television. I can tell. I hope so, at least. <laughs> Maybe both. What if both of them flops? I'm going to be so so sad if if House of the Dragon and Fallout just goes bad. Oh, I hope not. You're a little more moralist now, buddy. No, I don't want to be a moralist. A more I don't have a problem with moralists. It's just that the boring to. guy was a moralist, and I don't want to be boring like him. <laughs> What's this? Oh. We're getting reports of normal, reasonable, temperate, political opinions oh. somewhere in Martinez. Really? You must be <laughs> mistaken. I'm a real radical. That's me, Mr. Reasonable. Someone's got to keep, keep it sane around here. This is because I keep saying none of the above to political stuff, isn't it? That's quite true, though. That's very true. It's also about that. But mm. it's also more. Ooh. Perhaps it's the hangover. Perhaps we it's can a temporary surge of We serotonin. cannot be hang hungover Something still. How hard did we party? This is day three. Are, do we have a three-day hangover? Is that even possible? Like, sure, you could, if you drink a lot... You can have like a two-day hang hangover, and then on day three, you fe you feel a bit like not with it, like almost like you're recovering from a fever. You're not still sick, but you're not back to a hundred yet. But a, th a three-day hangover, like how hard did we party when we got amnesia? It's time to become a citizen of the kingdom of conscience. Yeah, okay, so these are the... Pa okay, so now we're, I guess the game is going to tell me. What is the kingdom of conscience? First, where is the kingdom of conscience? 
Con Constance. Con conscience. It is not a place. It is a moment in time. Yeah, exactly. That can only arise our, in the our constant. Our, 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 uh, oh, I don't know what that disease is called. Uh, li liver, you know, when you have a liver da damaged liver due to due to drinking, it's it's called something. I can't remember. I don't know what it's called in English. I know it's called in Swedish, but I don't know what it's called in English. That's just our hangover. It's just our our liver failure is just our our ha hangover at this point. <laughs> Uh, wait, what did he say? It is not a place, it is a moment in time that can only arise in the right circumstances. In all of human history, it's been achieved a handful of times. No, I, I guess I can... Um, uh, it is... Like liver cirrhosis? Could it be something like that? Uh, yeah, cirrhosis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's cirrhosis. Uh, C-I-R-R-H-O-S-I-S. -S. Cirrhosis. Yeah. In, in Swedish, it's literally, like, if I translate it literally, it's, it's, um, um, like, uh, oh, what do you call it when it's, when it's, uh, like a raisin. A raisin is a grape that has, like, been sh 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 shrunken, shrimp, sh shriveled, shriveled. That's it. So it's called shriveled liver. It's like the literal translation. Shrivel, shriv. That's a hard one to say. Shriver, shriveled liver. Say that five times quickly. Holy shit. <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's what the disease is called. Shriveled liver. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, that is an honorable goal, I guess. It sure. is, isn't it? Yes. History's greatest catastrophes have been brought about by people trying to make the world a better place ah. too quickly. Is that true? History's greatest catastrophes has been brought about by people trying to make the world a better place too quickly. Can you give me one concrete example of this? That's the genius of Dolores Day. She recognized that progress is meaningless if its gains are lost because of instability. Real, lasting change can only come about gradually, increment by increment. Yeah, okay, I, I, I get I get what he's saying. It's just that I feel like the, the sort of history's greatest, greatest catastrophes is like, okay, what are history's greatest catastrophes? Pompeii, could that be one of them? I guess that, I guess, yeah, sure. If a volcano erupted very slowly, it wouldn't have been a catastrophe. Maybe, maybe he's correct there. Maybe, maybe, maybe my empathy is is onto something here. Uh, Titanic is that a greatest? It's a it's a it's a catastrophe, but is it the history's greatest? It's a famous one, but is it the greatest one? What would be history's greatest catastrophes? What would be the greatest catastrophes? I'm not sure. I can't. I'm blanking on catastrophes. It's like uh, Pompeii is one of the only ones I can remember. Or I can think of. I can probably remember more. Uh, wh what is the kingdom of conscience actually like? The kingdom is difficult to comprehend. Yeah, I, I and guess. Even more difficult to describe. Yeah, and ex exactly. I'm thinking like if it's a catastrophe, it's something. You know, it, it's something out of our control, basically. Because I wouldn't say that the Holocaust is a catastrophe. It is horrible and, you know, fucking awful. But a catastrophe feels like more of out of our control. This is like a uh, an, an awful thing where people made conscious decisions. Whereas a catastrophe is like, you know, something, something unexpected happened. Like, it, it's unexpected. But that just might be just weird semantics. But yeah, the Black Plague, fucking the, the Black Death. That's that's the, that's the greatest. Like, or the Spanish Flu. Like, those, uh, fucking those were like, uh, you know, the Spanish Flu like killed more people. Because that happened during World War One, wasn't it? And it killed more people than the war. Or it's like, it was, oh, that's, that's, that's definitely one. That's definitely one. Catastrophes. There we go. And I guess, I guess I get, yeah, again, it's like, uh, he's saying it's trying to make the world a better place. He's trying to make make the world a better place too quickly. 
where is that because like, i was gonna say a, a plague is it's really just a a virus or something mutating too quickly for our bodies but it's not trying to make a world a better place is it that's true as well it, yeah that yeah you yeah you you're right yeah you're right i guess it has from a certain point of view you're right so for yeah, exactly. So like, for example, again, then then I take back my statement about the Holocaust. The Holocaust was a catastrophe for everyone who got persecuted in the Holocaust. You know, the the Jewish people, um, everyone who politically, uh, everyone who was not politically a Nazi, basically. Yeah, no, no, you're right. It it does depend on you. I I totally agree with you there. Uh, it could be a catastrophe, even though it's sort of a. A thing. You are completely right. I I, I agree. Um, Partly because humanity will need to discard many of the and categories now... that define and limit it today. The kingdom of conscience is post-capitalist. And again, that's like I, I guess it's again it's 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 perspective, right? It's people trying to make the world a better place. I I don't talk for the Nazis. I assume. They did what they did because in their wicked, stupid, crazy fucking minds, they were making the world a better place, even though that was objectively false. <laughs> but okay, I, I guess this this is I don't why 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 what is this? We put we put on a pair of pants and now we're having deep discussions about <laughs> catastrophes. What the I just want I just wanted nice pants, really. It's also post industrial. Post ideological. I just wanted some pants. Post sexual. Okay. <laughs> okay. That seems fine. I still want to live for the present, though. Sounds incredible. Allons-y. Uh, let's go there right now. Slow sure. down, Mister Reasonable. Isn't that the, the part about allons Is that is that Italian or French? I don't know. It it means like let's go. That's something that Doctor Who says the, when David Tennant was Doctor Who. I'm not a big Doctor Who nerd, but I have watched the majority of the latest Doctor Who, so to speak. He says, Allons-y! And that means, I think that it's, it's French or Italian, and it means, let's go. But I don't know which. It's French. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I knew it, I knew it, was, I, I knew it was one or the other. I didn't know. I couldn't remember. Ah, okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah, and I, I just... Fucking most of the most of the most of the sort of you know uh, romantic languages they're, they're they're related in some way. Uh, and I am awful at learning languages. I can I can usually sort of guess where what what language they are, but I I cannot learn them. I'm so bad at learning. Uh, did you miss the part about compromising and taking things slow? All oh, right, yes, <laughs> quite yes. <laughs> oh shit, we we failed. That's right. Remember, okay. Real democracy is just around. Right, the take it slow, election. otherwise you get the when a that catastrophe. Real democracy kicks in. A long time from now, mm. we are all going to be so much happier. Yes. We need to take it slow, remember? Because if we go there too quickly, it's gonna be a catastrophe. That's the the definition of it. Jerk. Oh, so now we got another. Holy, we're getting so many thoughts now. We're getting so many thoughts now that we need to rational rationalize or internalize, I guess. Well, we got some good fucking pants, and that's that's all that matters. Uh, okay, so. Wow, this place is huge. Oh, we got some some people. Okay. Okay, so we, okay, we have to go around. Oh, quick travel! We can quick travel now. Thank God. How do I do that though? I don't have a map. <laughs> we can't quick travel because we still don't have a map. Where do I get a map from? Uh, a wetting stone. Okay, so we can we can sharpen. Isn't it just called a whetstone? A wh or do you wet the stone with it? This is the stone. This is the stone you use to wet the stone to then sharpen <laughs> your blade. <laughs> Construction material. We have a plan to build this house left in a hurry. Oh, look at that. Oh. Magnesium and pocket change. Wonderful. Okay, I, I'm just going to assume this is the fishing village. I'm just going to assume this is the fishing village. I'm just going to have a look around before I start looking in the village to make sure we didn't 
miss anything in the sort of highlands here. This is not the highlands, uh, but this area. Like this car! Footprints in the snow, they lead away from the accident. Oh my lord, look at this. Uh, yeah, okay, so we came down here and then we went up, so let, okay. A creaking ahead. A banged up fuel can is that we can sell for 11 bucks? But we need money, so that's perfect. Just. There's a lot of loose change lying around. Do you. Like. Maybe it's just. Maybe it's just Sweden that doesn't have a lot of loose change, but there's a lot of change lying around. I, I, don't, I don't find this much money just walking around out in the. out in, the, out in nature. A banged up motor carriage lies half submerged in the icy water, slowly sinking into the Insulindian Ocean. Only the cabin top, rear wheels, and the engine remain visible. Yeah, it is very bad. I can't make, I can't wrap my head around how it's lying. If that's a wheel, is this a roof? Or is that like... I can't, I can't, ugh. How? <laughs> this, that's not a car. <laughs> it must be cold and lonely down there in the icy water. Probably, yes. Remember the tire tracks in Martinez? This is where they were leading. This is where the tracks on the... Oh, right! We had, there was a tire tracks coming out from where the body was hanged. It appears to be so. Let's investigate. I agree. We should definitely investigate. Find the traffic hooligan. Uh, shit. Who's the hooligan? Is it you, Kim? It's you, Kim. You get a sudden sinking feeling. Oh, no. Stomach acid oh, comes no. up as you look at the motor carriage in a deep, dark, cold We're water. getting an ulcer. Uh, run your hand over the cold metal and moan. Uh, the motor carriage <laughs> is properly stuck or, uh, in the that. ice. Getting it out would require a team of specialists. Mm. And like a... A crane. Uh, what is the make of this motor carriage, MC? <laughs> uh, is it perhaps called Hammer? The logo is too deep oh, in the murky water. Oh, 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 oh. You can't Hilarious. make it out, but uh, you do mm. see a monkfish float by. Oh, I did not expect to see a monkfish. Uh, that would be my MC name. I'd be MC Monkfish. Uh... How long has it been here? The ice hasn't closed around the vehicle yet. My guess is it's been here since last Saturday or Sunday. Okay. The estimate is correct. The incident probably occurred on Sunday evening. Sunday e When was the body hanged? Now that was like a week ago. And it's Wednesday. Okay. No, it, it was a week ago on Monday. So Sunday could be... This could be the getaway vehicle. This could be... The getaway, getaway vehicle. Let's wait for the low tide and see what's inside. Oh. Great idea. Oh. Then we can get the things inside. The joyrider must have left something good inside. <laughs> Guns. Guns. <laughs> papers. Maybe a cool jacket. I would love a cool jacket. A joyrider jacket. Mm. When does the low tide come in? I don't know. An hour or two tops? Uh, the game has a lot of references to the episode of the Paris uh, Commune in 1871 behind the story of Revachol. Uh, Kitsuragi pronounces some words with the French pronunciation. Oh, of course, the soldier René uh, Arnaud. That's a French accent. Give me your team mix when you call the police station. Yeah, and I mean, they are. Uh, I, I, I kind of. It's like the only thing I picked up on. <laughs> the only thing I picked up on is that this is this is French. It's like you know everything around this is like sort of French. The the setting is very French. The words are very very French. City named everything and yeah everyone is speaking with a french accent i did not know i did not know that it was referenced from the paris commune uh and the story of reversal i i thought it was just you know a fun setting it's like oh let's set it in sort of ma made up france and uh everything can be a bit uh everything can be a bit uh french and funny and uh cool and they uh, obviously have all the revolutions and and, and stuff but that's pretty cool. I did not know that. Sit in the swing and wait for the tide? An hour or two? Do we want to waste an hour? Or two? I guess, yeah, sure, why not? 
We have a lot of time. And also that that gives them as you sit down in the That old gives the uh the police plenty of time to to radio in silent. with the uh, with the uh serial numbers or whatever it is we're waiting for the we're waiting for the thing. <laughs> we're waiting for the thing. <laughs> you know, uh, the armor, the uh, information about the armor. The hinges creak under your weight. Dangerously. But silent. I like hot loot. Nothing but the sound of seagulls mm. high above in the sky, echoing oh. my distant laughter. Ice cracks around the blue motor carriage in the sea. We're gonna whistle a tune. The only way we can fail this is if we critically fail. The tune on your I was lips half expecting us to critically fail. Undeniably beautiful contrast oh. with the surrounding bleakness. You wanna start whistling? The lieutenant no. gives you a quick glance, then still looking straight ahead. Oh, how wonderful! With me, me and Kim and hanging out on the on the on, on the trail. swing. That almost rhymes, so that's cool. Two birds on a wire, whistling by the seaside. By the seaside the and the sunken car. La 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 la. <laughs> Isn't that Sweeney Todd? I think that's Sweeney Todd. By the beautiful sea. Do, do, do. The clouds pass in the sky, and the shadow of the swing moves like the hour hand on a timepiece. Mm -hmm. Thirty minutes have passed. Okay, yes, yeah, so time, time, time has advanced. Thirty minutes. Looks like this might take a while. Time to present a good topic for discussion. Hmm. hmm. So, was your dad also a? I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Uh, the tide shore is taking its sweet time. Would you rather sit on an anthill for an hour or stand in a river of leeches? That's a good question. Would you rather sit on an anthill for an hour or stand in a river of leeches? I assume also for an hour. Ooh, that's a tough one. Well... Historically, leeches have been used to prevent... That's even my... I was going to say, I think I would go for the leeches. But it's a, if it's in a river, there might be too many of them. And how, how much does a leech hurt? Depends on what kind of ant. Okay. I've been bitten He's by thinking, ants. I can do this. Let's mm. do this. Who'd want to sit on an anthill? There are no <laughs> therapeutic benefits to... No... I don't... I've never been bitten by a leech, but I have been bitten by an ant. And ants, they... they, they they don't hurt like if it's just a normal like forest ant. They don't hurt that much. They hurt, but not that much. But uh, there are millions of ants in an ant. Maybe not millions, but a lot of ants in an ant hill. Thousands well, of them. napalm ants, for example, are used in some rites of passage rituals. Yeah, bullet ants. Clouds on the horizon grow darker, mm. and the shadow of the yeah, sunset keeps climbing. That's a tough you one. hear the distant rumble of the city. Thirty minutes pass. Mm. If you have to side with either the strikers or the shipping company, who would you choose? Uh, do you think we'll ever find my gun, <laughs> Kim? Will we ever find my gun? God, I hope so. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm, I've been thinking. If I put enough time into eating right and exercising, I could turn myself into a living weapon. Then I wouldn't even need a gun. I don't think I'm ever going to find my gun. The world is so big and my gun is so small. Your voice echoes on yeah, the that's water. Yeah, that's true. Strange and out of place in the environment. 30 more minutes pass. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can't you do that? <laughs> just, can you just fast forward time? Uh, uh, can you make out the marquee now? Squint your eyes and say, is that a number on the side? Yes, 41. What do you think it stands for? Oh shit, this is our car. <laughs> this is our car. We did this. It's our precinct. <laughs> it's as if he knows what it stands for, but wants you to this say is our it. car. It's pedagogical. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, our guy, our guy has amnesia. He doesn't remember anything from like three days ago. Anything before then, he doesn't didn't even remember his name, he didn't remember he was a police officer, nothing. And he got super fucking drunk. And he lost his gun, his badge, and probably his car. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Shit. It's our car. Does he know something about the driver of this vehicle? We know about the driver of this vehicle, Logic. Use your logic and log logicate that it is us. <laughs> It's, 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 uh, oh god, no. <laughs> that sums it up pretty good. 
<coughs> okay. 4 to 1 is the rank of the underground street racing hierarchy. Small fish, this one. This must be Tommy 41, the morning host of FM 41. Looks like the factory made a mistake and accidentally called this one Capri 41. Golf, stupid factory. I hate guessing. District or something, a precinct, maybe something mun municipal. Rub your temples, you're getting a horrible headache. Oh god, no. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm so sorry. Oh god. 41. Yeah. Precinct 41. Yeah. A massive pit opens up. This was us all along. And the most terrible feeling comes over you. No. <laughs> Just no. Say no to this, Harry. <laughs> no, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna embrace it, accept it. We drove our car into the sea. I'm afraid so. Yes. yes. It looks like you drove your police. Ah, we heard our morale by that one. After you jumped across a canal. Uh, maybe I was in pursuit of someone. How do we get it out? I can still fix it. I can't fix it. They're not gonna take me back after this, are they? The badge, the gun, and now this. The lieutenant adjusts ah, his <laughs> and doesn't say anything. There is also a fourth thing. Oh, no, first. not a, <laughs> no, a fourth thing. Our dignity. More precious than the gun, <laughs> the badge, and the motor carriage combined. Mm. Lost forever into the deepest Ah, uh, Things were going so well, so well. We were just whistling merrily. Ah. Uh. Maybe I was in pursuit of someone. Of whom? I don't think so. No. If anything, you were probably drunk. Yeah, probably. How do we get it out? Detective, we don't. Oh. Unless cooperation really isn't valuable at this point. I mean, it, we have to get it out. This is this is this is this is bad for the environment. We gotta get it out. Like, get a crane, lift it out, and put it in the dump and recycle the parts we can. It's just gonna be like that. I'm afraid it will have to be there like that for many years. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at it. Parts of it might be salvageable. But overall, this machine is a right off. Yeah, but don't just don't just leave it there. Like, it's not that hard to just get a... We can get, like, a truck in. You know, we can get, like, a truck in here. And then tow, tow it out just to get it out of there. It's bad to have a broken car in the sea. Uh, I, can, I can still fix that it. That is very unlikely. All the electrics are toast. That goes for the electromagnetic steering and brake systems as well. Yeah, You'd be lucky and the oil to find is... one undamaged yeah. component in there. In a few months, there will be nothing but rust left of this vehicle. It'll be cheaper to buy a new one. Yes, but think about the environment, Kim, well, not only money. Not cheaper. This motor carriage costs 40,000 Holy real. shit, that's a lot. But in the long run, that's it a still lot. makes more sense. It's to buy a, a catastrophe. New try to yes, we, we drove too fast. We tried to we tried to drive too quickly. Shit, this is a disaster. I don't have that kind of money. People are gonna get angry on me, aren't they? Let's face it. I gotta be this so is mad. A substantial loss to your yeah, it's a catastrophe. I mean, my station only has four other vehicles in addition to my kinema. Oh shit, fuck! And it wasn't even like our car. It was like like we're sharing with everyone else in the precinct, basically. This was twenty percent. Of the station's vehicular budget. Mm, this is bad. <laughs> so they're not gonna take me back. People are this. more valuable than machines. Yeah. Training a police officer is even more costly. Well, maybe not. It might be a good idea to get uh, rid of us, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> even though it's costly, it's probably a good idea. Uh, things were going so you well. You can still whistle. I, I Besides, don't want to. The night is always darkest before the dawn. Uh, that's actually not true. If you if you think about it logically, that's not true. Ah, <laughs> oh, beads. I should have yes. known. Let's go take a look. Yeah, we yeah because I right well we found that we found out who the hooligan was. It was us. Okay, well we can we can in investigate. I I can we? Oh yeah. Let's investigate. Oh, oh, oh! We found our badge. Did we find our badge? A police badge on which you see the photo of a man. You. <gasps> Some seaweed is stuck to the back. Maybe our maybe our portrait will update now that we have found our badge. I found our badge. At least something good came out of all this. Yeah. Study the badge. Encased between two durable plastic sheets is a bluish card with lines of information and a watermark in the shape of the street <gasps> grid 
of Rivershall Ooh. West. Oh, is, is, is it a map? You see a photo, a name, a rank, a document number, oh. the date of issue, and in the lower right corner, your precinct. Okay, look at the photo. The man keeps winking at you with his green-gray oh. eyes. The photo is wink, old, wink. no doubt about that. But the badge is new. You used an old photo for a new badge. How old? Eight, maybe ten years. Oh. The guy in like the my driver's license. I look looking. so young in He's my got driver's got license. Nice <laughs> and is distinctly lacking in massive sideburns. Don't even have a mustache on my driver's license. Can you imagine? And he's winking. Why? What do you think? His face is already contorted by the expression, mm. although it looks less grotesque on him than it does on you now. Okay. It looks like you had quite the charming face oh. way back then. Yeah, ten years Your ago. Your hair is brown mm. and slightly curly. Yeah. Your eyes seem more clear somehow. The lack of alcohol swelling is a bonus. <laughs> that is a Though bonus. A yeah. Of that in your cheeks already. Yeah. Don't don't like alcohol swelling. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate. Okay. Harrier, that's long for Harry. So you are Harry. Evrat was half right. Oh. Probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told him you're Harry Dubois didn't. Yeah, okay, so it's not Harry. I thought we were actually named Harry Dubois, but it's Harrier Dubois. <laughs> Strange. It doesn't say Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau. <laughs> Not strange at all. Your name is Harry or Dubois. Oh no, I thought like it was it Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau. Bad. That's what that's what that's what the that's what the dice told me when we rolled for it. When we rolled for a name, that's what it said. What kind of name is Harrier? It's a wartime name. Oh. Revolutionary. The kind give he is too serious. He should, times, he should he should he should he should loosen up a bit. Or boxer or iron like sure, he might, might not agree with us all the time, but come on, just don't like all the time he's like No. It's like we make a joke and it's like no, come on, just loosen up a bit. You know, laugh a bit, and or at least go be polite and say, like, "Ha ha ha, yeah." Well, we should we should probably get back to work now. Like, be polite about a it. Name like armor. Oh, but I don't want to be Harry or Dubois. Don't accept it. We, we we won't accept it. I'm not gonna accept it. Why? It's a cool name. It's not a cool name. I like it. Yeah, well, besides, you're, you're... Harry anyway. No one's ever called Harrier. No, but I'm I'm Raphael Labrosius Cousteau. The badge in your hands <laughs> shines as you rotate it. Okay, we won't be. Light. I'm not accepting him. <laughs> lines of information. Uh, lieutenant, are we a lieutenant? I guess LTN stands for lieutenant. Lieutenant W Freighter. W, w Freighter. What the what the hell is W Freighter? Uh... The lieutenant is a rank above sergeant and below. Yeah, I know head. that. It's the highest rank in the RCA. But the W Freighter. Work. I am a lieutenant. Are you also a double Yefreiter? The title of Yefreiter is added to your rank when you decline a promotion oh. to a higher rank. Oh. In your case, Captain. You have declined twice. Thus, you're double Yefreiter. Oh, is that, a, is that a thing? Is that a thing? Cool. Are you a double Yefreiter? Do we, are we, we don't outrank him, but technically, maybe we outrank him. There are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precincts, the contage might be taken. Or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace oh. their superiors. So you you can be respect. promoted but not promoted. Like, like it's saying like we would promote you if we could, but there are no open positions, so we'll just add a Yefreiter to your name, and then that happens twice. Or it could just be that we literally don't want it. And sometimes they just prefer huh. the type of police work available to their current. I mean, it makes rank. sense. It case, makes sense. Lieutenant. Okay. Uh. Okay. Sure. I thought my rank was drunk. <laughs> yes, uh, apparently you've had a rather successful career in the past. Thank you. I'm I'm a drunk double your freighter. The current situation is only temporary. <laughs> oh, thanks. That gives me hope. I'm afraid there are no ex-alcoholics. I want to get better. I want to get... I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. <laughs> thanks. That gave me hope. Good. No, I don't... Like, uh, I, like, it makes sense in a weird way that, you know... Because, you know, it, especially in, like, military and stuff, like, if, if you've done something very commendable and you have your required service, you would get promoted, but you can't have a hundred lieutenants running around. So it makes sense that they would put something like, you know, this is lieutenant twice promoted, this is lieutenant thr uh, three times promoted. So when a position opens up, so you have some form of 
system of like, okay, this guy has been waiting the longest, so to speak. Because otherwise, like, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes a whole lot of sense. Ne just never thought of it. Never thought about it. Uh, what's the com? The contage is the hierarchical system oh, okay. employed by the Revachol citizens' militia. Okay. It means counting down to twos. The countdown is modeled after mm. the dual leadership system employed okay. by the left during the revolution, which in turn was developed by last century experimental psychologists in the University of Königstein. All right. The lowest rank is junior officer, usually teenagers. Teenagers. Then there are the patrol officers. Then sergeants, lieutenants, and then a captain. Yes. That's basically it, except for a few kings. Okay. You don't have a uh, major in the police? I guess not. I don't know. I don't know police ranks. Kings like satellite officers and the additionally a freighter rank, I already explained. I guess it does stop a captain. Like, I've never heard anyone say police major. In the military, it goes. The long and short. Of it, <laughs> it, is it just continues indefinitely. Not really. <laughs> Does end eventually. Uh, the long and okay. I am his superior. <gasps> so you've been putting up with all my bullshit because I'm your superior? No. Oh, I've good. Been putting up with you because good. despite an unconventional approach, you are doing good police work. Am I though? Or are you just saying that because I'm your superior and you have to say that? It matters more than driving <laughs> your motor carriage into the sea. And now we've even found your badge. Exactly. He trusts you for now. For now. Try for not now. to spoil it. For now. Such a small yet precious thing. Expensive uh, paper caught between thick plastic like a fly in amber. It reads. Okay, what about the serial number? It's just a serial number. It's just a serial number. number. Aren't there for good measure. They have an administrative. Yeah, purpose. exactly. But it's One just, that's yeah. unfortunately been erased from your I memory. mean, I don't think I would ever remember my serial number even if i wanted to revachol 12 something something jamrock 41 that's the precinct i assume okay date of issue 7th of november 50 four months ago i'm guessing that's when you were ah. promoted to the rank of lieutenant w freighter yeah freighter stop saying you're freighter it sounds so, it sounds so made up it's insane i i don't know if it's made up or not but it sounds new very usually made up. comes with a new rank you seem to have been doing well then mm. You're pretty cool. sure you weren't doing well, but better. Yeah, probably, we yes. probably weren't that drunk a back then. A lot can happen in four months. Yeah. Especially in winter. Yeah, winters are the hardest. The winters are never easy. It's the hardest season. Of that you are sure. I like winter. Don't get me wrong. I like winter, but it is hardest. Hardest to survive. Hardest to get everything you need. It's dark all the time. E. Yes, it's the designation. Well, of I like recent. winter. Winter is cool. 41. Like mine says 57. The 57th is mostly industrial harbor. A lot of asphalt. The 41st is... He stops. It's a tough station to work in. Really? You have all of Jamrock to cover. Ah. That district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. And yet we only have the one. But then again, it's a legendary district oh, and okay. a hell of a station too. It must be an honor and a curse to work with people like Price, McCoy, Berdyayeva. Roberts, Feuerbach, Dimitri. Oh. Suddenly names from your decomptage all of a sudden flash in your forebrain i remember he knew all those people although they're not from his station they must be big or kim is a nerd the badge in your <laughs> hand that's also as you rotate it, he, he seems light. like the guy who you would know all the names of, of all the precincts it, just because he studies up on them for some reason okay okay uh okay fuck we found our badge Jeez, that's good. Uh, let's okay. It's it, it, time has passed, so let's. Uh, we still have don't have enough. Well, we we're just gonna head back to the car to see if uh, to see if uh, we can call the the serial number now because it's been like two hours, and I want to send Kim away. Um, uh, Kim is very clever. My character is an unhinged alcoholic. I mean, yeah, we are. Like, check out check out our skills, right? We have solved 216 cases over the course of 18 years. That's a lot. That's a lot. We are super, super good at police. <laughs> we are super good at police. <laughs> I am great 
uh, speaking English. <laughs> Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. Okay. This is precinct 57. Uh, How may I still know where Oh, come on! Right. Four, come in. We found a badge. Four, sir. Glad to hear that. Yay! I'll write down that there is no need to issue exactly. anyone to use it. Yes. Over. 10-10, ten, 10-4. Ten, ten, uh, 10-2. Ten. Ten uh, love you. I don't know how to sign off for a police radio. 10-4 <laughs> is... Uh, understood, right? Or received? That's what all the... All, what all the, all, all the, the that's what they say in the movies. It's like, uh... Ah, we need assistance over at, uh... Road 1. It's like, 10-4! Coming straight away! Uh, wow, we're running in... Running in sync! Uh, okay, so... Ooh. Let's investigate the fishing village. Okay, what are we looking for? We're looking for a kid who was running around screaming about boots. Oh, uh... Okay, let's start systematically. Let's start from over here and then move inwards, okay? Like, we're... The planks creak. A light leads to a school of fish swimming in the kelp. Wonderful. Love that. Okay, an unmoored boat. And 70 cents. Hi, officer. Hello. Uh, Anything I can help you with? Maybe. Uh, uh, as always, I am the law. You've graduated to low bring. <laughs> say you are the law seven times. We always say we are the law. I am apparently the lawbringer now. Yes. Men with authority have their quirks. Mm. Comes with never being second guessed about fishing? anything. Fishing, like fishing lures in your as earrings. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Not gonna lie. So what brings you here, lawbringer? Oh, lawjaw. We are we are unlocking so many thoughts. I don't have time to inter internalize all of these. Uh, that depends. Where are we? A fishing village on the seashore. This place doesn't really have a name. Really? It's sometimes called Illicibla. Is, is that like uh, unlegible? Does that mean alleg un unlegible? The sign on the street leading here is oh, illegible. illegible. Has been since they built this place. Wow, wow. My intelligence is <laughs> staggering. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, it's it's uh, atrocious, but that's that's great. It just uh, it, Elizabeth just sounded a lot like a lot like illegible, so it just made sense. The name is Lillian. All right. People call me Net Picker. Wow, that's a weird nickname. I think I have time for questions, and that was actually yeah. The it just it one. just made, it just sounded very similar, and also the English do borrow a lot of its fancy word from the French. Uh, or I guess borrowed slash adapted from slash evolved from whatever you want to say. Most of the fancy words in English are are, are French in origin. Indeed, you're always or not, confused. Some of them. <laughs> uh, I'm always confused about. Yeah, I am always confused about my whereabouts in in real life as well. In real life, as well. I'm looking for someone. Maybe you can help. I was asked to get you. No, we're gonna forge the signature. Uh, what do you do around here? Nice sword. Point on this. Does she have a sword on her hip? Holy fuck. Okay, I'm looking for someone. Maybe you can Let's help. Let's see. Who oh. are you looking for? The cryptozoologist. Uh, I don't think I know what these are. Care to elaborate? Exactly. They look for imaginary animals. It's, it's more than imaginary animals. It's like... I guess. Or is it just... Are they just looking... Because uh, cry cryptoids are like, you know, the... Loch Ness and Chupacabra, Bigfoot. But it's... Does it have to be a... A... Like... Does, doesn't it have to be a, a, a... Like, famous... Imaginary animal? Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, who are hard to find. Animals, mainstream society... Scientists that I exist. That's a good... That's a good explanation. Aha! Yes. Like snowmen. Exactly. Or the Yeti, I assume. Two old guys have been wandering around here, nose in sand, talking nonsense about snowmen and the like. Are they looking for snowmen? What would they be looking for here? What what crypt cryptid is it down here? What could it be? Uh, the like? Right. Not only snowmen, <laughs> also green men, monkey men, burning rhinos. 
You get the picture. Are they looking for snowmen, green men, monkey men, and burning rhinos in Ravishol? Oh, you're getting it. And it is gorgeous. Sure. Okay, it's gorgeous, apparently. Where did they go? I don't really know. Oh. Further down the peninsula, I guess. I mean, that's where they were heading. Right. Who else are you looking for besides snowmen? I'm looking... I'm not looking for someone well, else. how can I assist you then, officer? Is that your boat? Sure is. Okay. The sun, I call her. Coated with a fresh layer of tar just yesterday. Sweet. It'll take some time for it to dry. Yes. Assuming the sunny days continue. Let's hope so. Nice sword. Unfortunately, the factory sold this one with a three-year warranty instead of a story. <laughs> <laughs> it's too intimidate folks, mostly. Cool. Well, count me intimidated. Uh, do you know how to use it? It is imposing. It's a regular mass-produced sword, like a shovel or an axe. Nothing fancy. Do you... Just for intimidation. Do they mass-produce swords? <laughs> I, uh... From time to time, people need a lesson in respect. That's just the way it is. Like how many, how many, how many day, swords do you see? I, I don't think I've ever seen a, a sword me, other than in a museum. Need a lesson in manners from time to time. I have seen a samurai sword on a wall, but that was like a, 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 a it's not a real sword. It's like a fake sword. It's just a display sword. How many swords are there? Like I, 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 I don't see a lot of swords. Can I borrow that sword? No. Okay. I'm afraid not. Okay. Attempting to confiscate the blade I used to keep these animals in check. You would put me in an early grave. Well, I just wanted to play around with more than more than confiscate it. You know, I just wanted to swing it about a bit. Uh, so are all the men? Uh, why don't more women arm themselves if it's so effective? What makes you think we haven't? <laughs> True. The truth True. is that almost everyone in this life is scared and tired and stupid and too dull for that. Oh. That goes for men too. But they put on an act for us. <laughs> Pretend like everything's good and living in shit doesn't bother them. Okay, behold! <laughs> for that. Behold! Point to the expression on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> sure. Yay! It looks as if you could face down any horror in the world with that same Are unchanging we, uh... grin. Like We're, a shield. <laughs> we might have a date soon. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. The traces of her laughter are still there. I think she likes us. Fading fast. I think she. I mean, uh, who wouldn't in this attire? Look at us. We look amazing. Uh, so we're all the men now. Some went to patch their wounds. Their lesson learned. She sounds like Others she's uh, from the. Is it like uh, the you know? One of them. Samwise Gamgee. I ended up marrying. Yeah, they're like fishing lures, right? Like fucking fishing lures. She sounds like she's from the the. Uh, where is the play? the the West Country in 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 uh, Great Britain. The, the West Country, the, the sort of the, the Western parts, outside of Bristol, basically, like Southwest. They speak like this, I think. Are you Mr. Frodo? It's like very, very, really sound like this. Farmer, farmer accent. Uh, wait, why? If they're thick headed, where's your husband? Gone. Gone where? To the waves. Oh. The sea took him. Oh no. It was a long time ago. Uh, he died, was he? Murdered? No, he wasn't. Or maybe he was, but <laughs> maybe someone pushed him into the sea. Okay, say no more. He didn't respect the sea. Went out there, drunk like a skunk, oh, and shit. sure enough, oh, one day shit. the boat was found floating empty. The bloated corpse turned up two weeks later. Oh, I see. Now, before you tell me how sorry you are for my loss, know that it was four years ago, and I've moved on. She, she, she There's likes only us. There's so much mourning you can do for a drunk with sinewy muscles she 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 def she laughed at our joke she said she liked our face and uh she she is letting us know that she has moved on and you know it was a while ago Ugh. she likes us and i like her earrings uh time really is the best cu cure for sorrow is it is it's healthy to let go and move on gotta keep the wheels us working folk don't have the luxury to be bed sick with melancholy I buried him, mourned for an appropriate amount of time, and went on. <laughs> respect the tape! Respect the sea! Respect the tape! That's like the... Like our mantra, our new mantra. We just have to... have to uh, Like the part of the ship, part of the crew. Like, respect the sea, respect the tape! Respect the sea, respect the tape! Life didn't really change it's our, it's that our much new mantra. The kids. 
Uh, oh, you got kids. This is neither a touchy Ooh. nor a very interesting topic for her. Uh, have they run around with uh, with uh, armor pieces? She looks like she's ready to go oh on a date with another, better, drunk. Uh, Ask her. Oh. Both of you could need some action. Okay, so we if we explore the coast and get Kim to fuck off, we can go on a date with her. Cool. Uh, uh, I'm looking for someone else. Uh, what do you do around here? Okay, but seeing you, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to her when, we, when we're ready for a date. Cavalry, cavalry boots. Well, I mean, we already have the, ar the, the armor boots, so uh, we're not going to pick up those cavalry boots. Hello, lady. Her eyes are closed. You're not sure about the melody, but it might be uh, self Samara. Uh, Possibly hmm. Sigehan, also known as the Apricot Suzunti. All right. Welcome to the fishing village. Thank you. Please lean in closer. I have cataracts. All right. But how does she know you're here? She can smell us. <laughs> if you can't see, then how do you know I was here? I still have a golden ear. Ah, she can hear come, us. Come, What if I lean forward and she spits in my face? Oh. Welcome, police officer. Oh. We don't cause any trouble around here. No. I'd... And we don't want any trouble either. I won't, I won't, I won't trouble you if you don't trouble we me, are lady. We here to cause any trouble, madame. Uh, what he said, we're cops. I'm the law. <laughs> we're cops, we're hellraisers. Click, click, bang, bang. <laughs> Chitty, cheaty, bang, bang. No. Uh, what he said, we're, we're cops. We don't cause trouble, we take care of trouble. Oh. Of course. Yes. Last time we saw you around here was 12 years ago. 12 years you ago? You also came to take care of trouble then. 12 years? Which you did. But still, in Martinez, you're considered an ill omen. Well, as long as you respect the tape, that's that's, that's all that's all it is. Respect the sea, respect the tape. And you don't need police in 12 years. I've been here before? No. No. Not you personally. Oh, uh, well, how do you know? I meant the RCM. Mm. Some of the men got into a fight. One of them killed another. Locked himself in that woodshed over there. Oh, that was the 12 years ago. He was boarding. Needed some help opening the door. You got it open for him. Okay. It took him to think about what he'd done uh, in a more secluded place. Yes. Somewhere more quiet. <laughs> Very nice way to say you put him in jail. <laughs> she says it as if he was on some kind of spiritual retreat. Yes, I am an ill omen, all right. Uh, if I'm considered an ill omen, why hasn't anyone told me that? What kind of ill omen? Okay, why am Maybe I... they are afraid. Maybe. Why? Because you're an ill omen. But mm. you're still welcome here. As long as men with guns aren't chasing you. And maybe even then, because that's the kind of fishing village we've built. That's a nice village. I'm sorry there's not a lot of room to park the motor <laughs> Don't worry, I found a... And not a lot of houses. <laughs> I found a good parking spot for it. Don't worry people. about it. Uh. My kids are long gone, searching for treasure. Mm -hmm. So are others. Okay. Ah, look at me ramble on. What brings you to us? Uh... Pfft. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm, I'll come back and talk to you later, lady. I don't want to talk to you right now. I want to explore first. I want to explore first and talk later. Hard to see the details. Okay. A flower. Uh, through where nothing really grows. Maybe in spring. Okay. Hello, kids. What do, what do you got there? What is... Oh, you, you have the thing. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone. He can't be more than five years old. That is... That is... That is... That is young. The other one looks indistinguishable from him. He watches his brother okay. kick the stone we got twins. with his tongue lolling out of his mouth. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. We'll, we'll... Again, we'll talk to them later. We gotta... We gotta... We gotta look around first. What is this? Closed door? Open door? It's locked tight. You can see into the house from the second. You can't see. <laughs> Learn to read. Allez-vous, allez-vous, en. Uh, all. Is that like, um, what's it called? Like, uh, all for one? Is that all for one? 
Olive, is that you know, uh, or, you know, all for one and one for all? Is that is that all for all for one? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, like, yay! I am, I am so good at. <laughs> my French is excellent. <laughs> does that mean? Does that mean all for uh, one, all for one? It's like no, it means go away. <laughs> Shit. Mm. Quite the opposite, then. <laughs> ah, okay. Well. I thought... Uh, yeah, no. That, that was bad. That was bad. I am not the best when it comes to French. I can only curse a lot in, in French. That's, that's, that's... That's my limited knowledge of French. I can curse quite a lot in friends, uh, in, fr in friends in French because uh, I have seen the Matrix Two and uh, the Merovingian in there. Curses in French and says it's like uh, uh, wiping your ass with silk. So I learned uh, his line and his cur cursing, uh, so I can curse in French. And I can I can also say the uh, I can say that. Qu'est-ce que tu qu'est-ce que tu qu'est-ce que tu? No, I can't say it. Qu'est-ce que tu penses que... Qu'est-ce que tu penses que tu fais ici? Je suis le zoo robot dans ce quoi? There we go. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que tu penses que tu fais ici? Je suis le zoo robot dans ce quoi? Just took a while. <laughs> it took a while. Because I don't actually know the no French. I just have to repeat it. I have to remember it. Because I don't actually know it. Oh. But that should mean... What do you think you're doing? I am the only robot on this corner. If I remember correctly. We're picking up a lot of things. Before you, a drawbridge can be only be lowered from the other side. Ah. Full of holes. Oh, I can look inside. Alcohol pot... Oh my god. Are, are people... Are people hiding stuff in these wooden posts? Well, I mean... Don't mind if I fucking do. <laughs> look at all this stuff! Was that in the game? Sounded like something was scraping along the floor, like a... Oh, thought my neighbors were doing something. I feel the shadow of a very large building. Saint Brune. Uh, 1147. Dirty pews in the shadows may seem to be... Okay, so this is a church. The altar shrouded in dark or something like that. It's too dark to tell. Okay, we will, uh, I will come back to this church as well. This is such a big area. I did not expect this to be such a big area. Holy fucking shit never ends. More money. I mean, we, we have money. We have all the money we need now. These rusty gears used to turn the whole machine. Change trails off in the ocean. Who knows to where? Barrels has been recently discarded. Okay. Oh my god, it never ends! Well, this is a great spot for a picnic. That's a- this is a great spot for a picnic. Cigarette butts, clean away from under a rug. Brand Timurturi. You've taken Timuturi. So, seems important. Okay, so we know that someone's smoking Timuturi uh, sits here. Good to know. Uh, relay tower. Okay, there's a box here. With a scented scarf. Wonderful. Do we want to wear a scented scarf? No, we want to wear the bow tie. We want to wear the bow tie. That's proper good. I think this is a good place for a picnic. So if we go on a date, we, we, we want to bring her here. Definitely. For sure. Okay, have, a, have another look around. What is this? Oh my god. A shirt? And some money? Oh, that's the jackpot right there. Okay, and... Yeah, this is this is huge. This place is huge. I wasn't I wasn't prepared for it to be this big. 
Okay, we're not we're not going indoors anywhere at the moment. We're just gonna look all look at all the exterior. Okay, someone is drilling. I think my neighbors are drilling. I'm just gonna a dead phone. Hmm. Yeah, it's my neighbors. Just had to make sure because it sounded like it could come from the from the game. Uh, what is all of what is this? What is this? Someone has left an unidentifiable article of clothing on this railing. It smells really bad. Really touch it. The cloth, <laughs> if you can still call it that, makes a soft crunching sound oh. as you thrust your finger into it. Thrust my finger. Take a closer look. It's streaked with dried seagull shit oh, and no. tangled with pieces of seaweed. A dangling arm suggests that there might be yeah. a jacket beneath the crust of filth. Oh. It seems likely that it was left in the surf until someone laid it out on this fence to dry out. And then winter came. Unfortunately, cake. that just seems to have stiffened it into a shapeless mass. Yeah, don't don't put your Please clothes out to dry. Tell me you're not taking that with you. <laughs> might be a clue. A clue? You think our suspect is a seagull who's been defecating on unsuspecting jackets? Could have been multiple. Could have been eight seagulls. <sighs> A poet. I am your superior. <laughs> Fuck. Still I don't. I don't want to pull rank on you, Kim. But I am your superior, inside. and I'm taking this jacket with you me. Should still take it. I will take it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's great now that we know. Now that we know that. Now that we know that we are. We're his superior. He can. We. Can, I thought. I. I for sure thought he outranked me, by a lot. I thought we were like. Not even. I thought we were like the, the normal detectives. Like, oh my god. I for sure thought he, we we were like sergeants at most. Oh, those are some good looking glasses. And more encyclopedia. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Another postcard. Yeah. A makeshift roof. Okay. The tarp will keep out neither rain nor snow nor wind. Well, that's. Why, why, why the tarp then? Okay, we can, we can go over here. What's, what's over here? Jesus Christ, this is big. A big wine canister. Ooh. Oh, hello. The smell. It's awful and. Familiar. Is he dead? Is that a dead guy? A dead drunk guy? Shit. Uh, hold on. That is awful. It doesn't help. You can still smell it. It's ro it's a ro it's a ro okay. My my stupid face is covering it. Right right there on the screen behind my camera is a is a is a guy uh, with a bottle uh, 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 right next to his hand, and he looks like he's not moving, and he is like slouching on a bench. So he he looks dead. Don't you recognize it? That hideous pungency, that faintly cloying sweetness. Only death smells like that. Quite. Something cold wakes in the pit of your stomach. Oh no. Fear. Oh no. It is death. It must be. Something's not right here. The lieutenant has already brought oh, he's a prepared. handkerchief to his nose. He's prepared. I'm your superior. Give me that handkerchief. <laughs> okay, so here, yeah, here you go. That, that's the guy. Look, look at the, look at the guy. Uh, just gonna ignore the guy. We're proper police officers. We look at everything first, and then we investi investigate the body, of course. There's some tear, an empty cigarette package, and a crumpled kebab wrapper oh. in the trash bin. Wow. Examine the kebab. You see traces of mayonnaise and ketchup on it, as well as a tomato wedge. The wrapper reads, Shish Kebab River Who the fuck has mayo and ketchup on a kebab? I mean, I can, I can understand having mayonnaise in, you know, you make the sauces with mayonnaise. But just straight up mayo and ketchup on a kebab? It's no older than a day or two. That no doesn't seem right. Like, you make a garlic sauce based on mayonnaise. I can, I can understand that. It's hard to concentrate in the smell. The sea air brings some relief. Okay. Uh, examine the cigarette. Whoever tossed it here. Was a heavy oh, smoker. so it's not the, the brand other name brand. Reads Red Astra. Red Astra is the black market version of Astra cigarettes, oh. known for their high tar content. Oh, lo lovely. Examine the tear. Two empty bottles of Tallulah vodka and a can of black potent porter. 
is all you find. Wonderful. No, there's more in there. Livis strawberry liquor. Someone was living in a, a porter, too. vodka, and up. some strawberry it's liqueur. So unhygienic. And Pilsner. Wow. A tragedy. Yeah, it is quite awful. A man lies on the boardwalk. His limbs bent and neck turned at an unnatural angle. And super dead, right? right? Next to him is an empty bottle of spirits. In his cramped hand, chewing a chewing gum wrapper. Half of his body has slipped between the cracked boardwalk. We have chewing gum. Why do we have chewing right gum wrapper? The fall has left him broken, contorted like a sad puppet. We found chewing gum paper in the pockets of, of a pair of pants? The smell is not as bad as a two-week-old corpse, but it's definitely heading there. Where do we get the pants? Have someone been stealing clothes off of dead bodies? Hold on. Uh, okay, I'm holding on. Lividity is faintly pronounced. Whoever this is has been dead for two days. Two days. No longer. We need to investigate. Oh my god. Another dead body. Now we have two, two, this two, two job. murders. Steal yourself. Calm now. Carefully. Okay. Just another day. Just <laughs> another dead body. Sure. There's an another day, another dollar. Am I right? Study the man's clothes. He's wearing mud caked boots, beige trousers, and an old brown leather jacket. With a bright blue lining, there are traces of kebab sauce on his chest. Are you sure it's not mayonnaise and ketchup? Okay, search his pockets. You find some sunflower seeds and a rain-soaked library card oh. folded into two. Oh. His jacket feels so That's good. We can heavy it prob probably have a name hand. on it. Good. We should take a look at that library card yes. after this is done. Uh, and the man? The man has fallen through a crack in the boardwalk and hit his head against yeah. the metal bench. Oh, so that's a... Ah. blood covers his black hair. That's, he slipped through. One of his feet is still dangling through the hole. Yeah. A bad fall. It might have been dark outside. Or he might, be, this might have just been super drunk. This place is a minefield in the dark. Examine his face. His expression is dull, like the sea behind him. Hmm. Drops of water shining on his moustache. Oh, he's got a... I mean, his yeah, eyes does have empty and wide look frightening in their frozen gaze. Hmm. Height. 170 oh. to 175 okay. centimeters. Curly hair, stout build, age approximately 50 to 60 years. Okay, so. There's some dried blood Fairly on the old. metal bench. Not old. Right old. where the corpse's head rests. The floorboards are rotten and slippery wet around the hole. An empty bottle lies nearby. A chewing gum wrapper is clutched in his fist. Be very, very careful where you step here. Yeah, okay. Examine the chewing gum. Grabowski right? spearmint chewing gum. Green leaves on the cover. Oh, the man's we can't mouth is half the gate from the terror of the fall. Look, look inside his mouth. <laughs> the blackness of death. Ugh. Stench. You think you see white chewing gum too. Okay, good to know. Confirmed. Nearly the whole pack is oh. there. Solidified on his lower rear teeth. That's a lot of chewing gum. He ate the whole pack, right? It's to cover the smell of alcohol uh, before going home. I see. The worst thing is... What's the worst thing? I've seen it before. Oh. Almost the same scenario. Even the chewing gum. It's always the same. Is it always... Is it always the same? <laughs> okay. Examine the head. A dry chunk of blood covers the hair at the back of his head. Mm. An open wound. Ooh. It's sticky and cold to your touch. Burr. This is what killed him. The fall. The... Crack. I don't see any other major wounds. Do you? Uh, it's just the back of his head. Seems like the head wound was fatal. Yeah. It's exactly the yes. shape of the bench. Exactly the shape of the bench. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, maybe someone hit him with a with a with a board then. Uh, okay. Uh, examine the bottle. A point seven five liter Tallulah vodka. Sounds about right. Missing. Sounds about right. There's hardly anything left inside. Oh, okay. Tear, all around us. Yes. Yes. Uh, step on the floor. The boards screech under the weight of the T500 <sighs> ceramic sabatons. Wow, it's a good I like thing that. It's so light because it's hard to determine whether it was the dead man's weight. I like that, that it says that I have the sabatons on me. It definitely looks fragile. That's amazing. You see waves churning below. Something cracks <gasps> beneath your feet. He could have easily disappeared into the sea through that hole. Okay, okay. And you would have never found him. Okay, let's step back. The entire boardwalk creaks in the wind as you take a step back. Who is this man? Looks like one of the locals. He'd have to know this was to come here. You don't 
Just okay, so if someone it. is talking about their husband going missing or something, we, uh, we know. But that's just a lazy assumption. <laughs> well, I mean, the lazy assumptions are the best, or the easiest, I assume. This is an omen, a sign from above. Don't start drinking again. It looks like just another old drunkard to me. I think labeling him an alcoholic is a bit premature. Uh, he looks like me. I could have ended up just like him. Dead on an empty boardwalk with a bottle next to my corpse. Oh shit. That we shouldn't have. Oh, fuck. At least you're not married. Well, at least, luckily, we have picked up a lot of uh, morale boosts. <laughs> fuck. Or, what if you are? Maybe we're. We don't know. Do you have a ring? But let's try to not run ahead. For now, all we know is that he's an unidentified middle-aged man yes. on that on the Martinez boardwalk. All right. What do you think, Kim? Death by misadventure. Mm. He slipped and fell through the boardwalk. Yeah. A truly unfortunate accident. If it wouldn't have been for that bench, he'd be alive. Let's uh, let's arrest the the architect and the and the and the builder who built this bench. What about the kebab? What about it? <laughs> The deceased ate some kebab. Yes. It's probably from a nearby place, maybe in the box. Yeah, maybe it's connected. <laughs> Sometimes a kebab is just a kebab. Mm, I don't think so. It's, it's connected. Could could it be related to the lynching? Probably not. That happened like a week ago. This is two days ago. You think he was drunk? Put it the bottle? Oh, yes. Mm, what about alcohol poisoning and liver failure? Some symptoms of acute alcohol poisoning could have definitely... Maybe we boy. maybe we pawned our ring. Severe yeah, maybe. Confusion. Maybe we did put our depression. ring in the pawn shop. And pawn shop. behavior. Could, could, have, could, have, could have been. But I think that death arrived through head trauma, not liver failure. Death through head trauma. Yeah, you're right. Uh, someone should have held responsible for this broken boardwalk. Could it be related to lynching? No, I don't no, see anything. No, I just wanted to make sure, Kim. For now, let's treat this case yes. as a simple, albeit sad It accident, is a sad accident. And related to the murder case. All right. Agreed. Yes. If this somehow converges later, why not? But keep it simple Yeah, and no one is held responsible. It does seem okay. to be a pretty straightforward misadventure. Exactly. Although there's still a question of identifying the Yeah, we, we have the library card. Don't worry about it. What should we do with From it? From where I stand, I can see two options. We either take the case and follow the leads to identify the body on our own, or we report back to the station and leave this for our colleagues to handle. Uh, uh, we found him. We should finish this. All right. Yes. We should first examine the library card you found. Yeah, I know. Then Kim. we can call the station for my kin. Yes, I know. Let them know we are taking the case. I am your superior. <laughs> I am your superior officer. <laughs> Uh, no, you're you're right. Okay, we can. Okay, let's look at the uh, the, the library card. card. Is folded into two and still slightly wet to the touch. The front side reads <gasps> Central Jamrock Public Library Card, issued to Billy Mejean, expires July. That's a good 53. name, Billy J Billy Mejean. Billy is a unisex name. Could be the deceased or his family member. Uh, look inside. Whoever owns this card is an avid reader. Oh. You find a list of books written in blue pencil. Radio thriller. Stand a little less between I mean, me could and he, the sun. Do we think the he's an avid reader? Maybe. The Glinton Curve Maybe. by M. Theobald. A it's hard to tell. Hard to tell when, when you have a dead guy. You know, it's hard to ask them questions. Like, do you like to read? Most of these titles seem to be in the sci-fi sci genre. Sci -fi. Some thrillers, too. Oh, look at the backside. If lost, please return the card to the library. Oh, okay. Dial 5 or visit us at Moreau Street, 78, Jamrock. Okay. Business hours, 900 to 1800. That's a, that's a, that's a good business hour. That's good. A good business hours. We should give them a call from my kinema. Yes. See if we can learn anything about Billy Mejean. <laughs> yes. Billy Mejean is good not idea. my... Oh, okay. uh, let's investigate the jack. As you hold it in your hands, it makes an uncomfortable crunching sound. Mm, how did this jacket get so disgusting? It's a sordid, filthy tail. Not for the weak. Are you sure you can stomach it? Yeah. It occurs to you that you're not even holding the jacket oh. itself, but rather the thick crust of jetsam and seagull it's, shit how, that uh, ensconces it. Is it even possible to be that much shit on a jacket? It smells like a dead sea creature, tangled in grey strands of seaweed. <laughs> it must have spent quite some time in the water before the tide deposited it ashore. Okay, what is the crust made of? Somehow, it was carried or dragged 
to the boardwalk, if not by human hands, then perhaps the feral dogs that prowl the beaches at night. Oh. The faint impressions of many footprints are also present, though it's impossible to tell so someone what has kind walked on this jacket. how many. Suffice to say, the jacket spent some time on the ground before someone draped it over the railing. What happened once someone put it on the railing? The crust is hard. This jacket spent at least a day baking in the sun. Mm. Who knows what happened to it then? I thought it would be frozen, not baking. Okay. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't think about it's any of this. It's too late. You've already thought about it. Mm. And now your hands are covered in muck. Flick my hands. Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> now you're just flicking that shit everywhere. This is a disaster. You'll <laughs> never get the smell out. Ah, shit. Now we have dead body odor and fucking bird shit on our hands. <laughs> ah, beans. Uh, okay. Uh, dead body on the... Okay, okay, okay. Shoot. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, we should have listened to Kim. Maybe we maybe we should have listened to Kim. It was like, don't pick that up. It was like, but I want to. Okay. Do we have anything else here? We have already investigated the phone. Uh, maybe we'll do it again. Just gonna have a last look around over here. Oh, look at this. The water runs from the west. The source is upstream. A broken peep? Maybe a broken peep? Hello? What is this? Bars cover these long, dusty windows. What are you pointing at? Oh my god, it just continues! Oh, that's the cryptozoologist over there! I assume. I assume that's the cryptozoologist. Looks like him. Okay, let's just check this out. You see a once bright mural towering above you. The signage has peeled off over the years, but you can still make out Feld Electrical R and D. Okay. A slogan used to intertwine with the loops a long time ago. Now only a shadow of peeled letters remains. It says, "Tomorrow is just a whisper away." What does that mean? Looks like tomorrow never came. Have <laughs> the voice with never would be real life. Would have decisions. I uh, that would be so good, right? That would be so good. Just. When you have to think about something for more than five seconds, just the narrator starting to tell you all of this, like, and also giving you all the all the perspectives that you don't normally think about, like, you know, your logic tells you, like, I can't do his voice. Your logic tells you that this and this and this, and then it's like, boom. Then the next is like, but your visual calculus tells you this and this and this, and then you can make an informed decision. That would be so good. That would be so good. Um, okay, well. Unfortunately, it is getting uh, rather late here, and I do have. I, I said this was gonna when I started today's stream. It was like this will probably just be two, two and a half, three hours. Uh, we are coming up on four hours now, but and I have, I have stuff to do. That's why I have to run it. Uh, otherwise, I would love to continue a bit. Uh, oh, and Gru uh, Gru, thank you for following. I, I appreciate that a, a bunch. That's very, very kind. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, so unfortunately we have to round it off here. Otherwise, I would have loved to continue because I'm I'm having a lot of fun. But I I must get some some work done today, uh, unfortunately. But I will be back on Wednesday with probably this game. Uh, we will probably continue uh, pr continue this game. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad you came uh, came along. I appreciate I appreciate you coming in here. Very 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 kind and very nice. And I appreciate the the follow. I really do. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, we are playing, we are playing, uh, Disco Elysium and Twilight Princess at the moment, so we might play some Twilight Princess on Wednesday, I don't know. But also, my schedule is gonna change next week, because I'm starting a new job, and everything is gonna be a bit, uh, different. So, I will post, in my Discord, I will post an updated schedule sometime during this week, when I've decided, uh, how the new schedule is gonna look. Uh, just a, a little, uh, FYI there. Um... So yeah, and, th and thank you all for, for coming in and, and hanging out. Uh, I think we are going to raid Jolly Green Carl, who is just uh, just an amazing uh, streamer. He's playing Baldur's Gate 3, so you know, if you, if you want to avoid the spoilies, uh, 
we're, you know, uh, that that's all, of course, all right. But we'll, we'll raid Jolly Green Car. Very, very, very cool. Very cool guy. Very, very nice. And if you, you know, as, as always, when we raid, if you like what you see, give him, give him a chance and give him a, give him a follow. Always greatly appreciated. Uh, but yeah, that's what we'll do. And I'll be back on Wednesday, uh, 2 p.m. Central European time. Uh, so that's going to be before the sort of, before the, the schedule changes, so to speak. But until then, thank you so much for coming in. And thank you for the, the kind words. Uh, and uh, hope everyone has a great rest of the day. And I hope to see you soon uh, on, on Wednesday, uh, preferably. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for coming in. If you've been lurking, I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we're going to go over to Jolly Green Carl now. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, uh, take care of yourselves and take